For your safety, remain seated with the doors closed, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving. And supervise your children. Thank you. Para su seguridad, favor de permanecer sentados con las puertas cerradas, manteniendo sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas adentro mientras el tranvía está en movimiento. Y vigilen a sus niños. Gracias. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. We are coming up on security now. So we're going to uh, put you guys in be right back mode and then welcome you in properly. So if you will just bear with us just a moment, everybody, and we'll get on into the park.
and we're back everybody happy Wednesday everybody so good to see you guys this is a little different for us going so uh, early but we figured why not enjoy a beautiful beautiful Wednesday with here at the Animal Kingdom oh thank you Marty M By the way, this is straight ahead of me. It used to be a gift store, but uh, I haven't seen it open since last year at least. And then right here is the Joffrey stand right before you enter the park. Honestly, I like the Joffrey's inside the park much, much better. Okay, I'm getting a bunch of chat in all of a sudden. I don't know. <laughs> That's how it goes. All right, let me get my phone so I can see everybody's messages. All right, here we go. Yes, the Osamigo today is probably gonna be very, very toasty for sure. Good morning, Ali K. Good morning, Marty M. Good morning, Theo Sam Eagle. Morning, Speechless and Disney. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we love Animal Kingdom as well. Such a beautiful, beautiful park. Good morning, Jay Mock. Good morning, Andrew. Let's see here. Good morning, Todd. Another year then retirement. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Almost there. Good morning, Valenti. Good morning, Wayne. Oh, it was a pleasure meeting you, Wayne, last week. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your trip to say hey and chat with us. We really appreciate that. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, Theme Park Fanatic. Well, I think I still have this backwards. Can you fix that? Can you think what? I think I still have that backwards. Oh, no. I thought I we did. fixed it. Are you fixed enough? Just fixed it. There we All go. right. All right. Safari hat's going wild. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. It's morning. That's Safari weird. Hats. Ready to go. It's weird for the park hoppers to be on in the morning, but we're here at Animal Kingdom yes. at uh, uh, 9.23 in the morning now. <laughs> uh, they parked us very far. It's very busy. There was like a huge line just to get in the um, the parking gate. There was. I was like, I'm not used to like there being such a large wait to, just to get into the gate to park. Yeah. And then like they parked us so far. It's very busy. It is very I busy. I'm shocked. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, uh, Theme Park Fanatic gifted one park hopper membership. Who got it? Jeff Davis. Jeff Davis. Jeff Davis, hope you enjoy the emojis. Theme Go park wild. <laughs> and Theme Park Fanatic, thank you so much for gifting that membership. We truly appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you so much, Theme Park Fanatic. Super appreciate that. So guys, we're gonna be going into Animal Kingdom. We're gonna be checking out some things, uh, enjoying some things, doing some things. It's gonna be a good day with yeah. some things. Yeah, Animal Kingdom's one of our, like, I mean, we love all the parks, don't get me wrong, but like, Animal Kingdom, there's just something so special about it, you know? There is. And uh, right now, it feels pretty decent outside. That's it, gonna change in the, the shade. next couple we're, hours. We're, we're standing in the shade at the moment, if you oh, guys yeah. didn't, like, in the shade, it's beautiful right but now. It's 82 degrees. <laughs> it's only gonna get up to 94 today with a real feel well past 100, so, uh, it's gonna yeah. be, like the old San Amigo said, it's gonna be a toasty one. It's gonna be toasty. Alright guys, let's go ahead into Animal Kingdom and enjoy this beautiful day. If you're just coming in and haven't already, if you kindly hit that like button for us. Thank you so much everybody, we really appreciate it. Thank you everyone. Bye. Also, if you're new, please consider subscribing. We'd love to bring you along to the parks again in the future. We are Eric and Monica, we're the park hoppers. We go live all the time from the parks now, so please consider doing so. And with that being said, let's go into Animal Kingdom. Alright, thank you everybody. I think the next uh, trim had just uh, dispersed. Mm -hmm. All right. And happy uh, Flag Day, everybody. Is it Flag Day? Oh, it is the Yeah, 14th. today is Flag Day. Yeah. I was like, well, that's a perfect opportunity to wish everyone a happy Flag Day. Yeah, happy Flag Day, everyone. Good call. Yeah. I forgot it was the 14th. Yes. 
Time flies. Especially this year for some reason. Every year just keeps getting faster. Good morning, Zari. Glad you had your breakfast. Hope you're feeling better. Good morning, Kawaii Kitty. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Sean. So true. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, man. Let's do it. We're losing signal quite a bit here. Yeah. Always do up here. It's Vine. way up ahead. Oh, the, the Vine. The Vine lady might be out. Oh, yeah. Is that everybody's waiting for? Unless she's out already? I'm not sure. She could be anywhere for uh, from 10 o'clock until 4, I think, but we are we have no signal right now. All right. Let's... All right, it's steadily coming back there. Cool, cool. Oh, yeah, there he is. Did we here early enough to see him? Look at him. So cute. Seen him up and about, too. That's probably the female. Yeah. Yeah, because I think the male, the teeth end up growing through the uh, forehead a bit. Yes, and they don't put the, I don't believe that they put the females and males in the same enclosure unless it's a specific uh, event or something. Oh, so cute though. She's so active. She is. She's foraging. And then guys, in case you miss it, this is the Baba Rusa. Baba Rusa. A very special event. Christy Chain's laughing at that. <laughs> so I was trying to word it proper. <laughs> hey, Christy Jane. Good morning to you and Michael. So this is a Babarusa, guys. It's essentially an African uh, pig of some sort. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Translates to pig deer. It's a reference to the antler-shaped uh, tusks of the male of the Asian pig. It's an Asian pig, excuse me. Uh, searches the muddy forest floor for leaves, roots, nuts, fruit, and vertebrates to crush with strong jaws and teeth. Yep. Pretty neat. So cute too. Mm -hmm. She's beautiful. It's hot again in the UK, Gamingham. Sorry about that. It's it's hot here in Florida too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good morning, Phil. Good morning. Good morning, Chef Skippy. Good morning, Coach Ann. Oh, big old hey, iguana. Iguana. The rhinoceros, oh, rhinoceros iguana. iguana. That's someone who's enjoying the heat. Pretty neat.
It's supposed to be over here. Uh, birds? Yep. I think it's uh, these little birds right over here. Most of those are just ducks. Those may just be mallards. <laughs> huh? Oh, there we go. I it, see it. It does look like that. There's a winging and a poacher. I think right there is straight ahead. In the brush. I guess so. I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, are those the regular pages need ducks or are those the poachers and the wiggins? <laughs> I don't know. Amanda Blakenship just became a member. Thank you so much, Amanda, for joining the Park Hoppers. We really appreciate yes, thank that. Thank you so much, Amanda. Welcome aboard. Uh, again, we hope you enjoy the emojis, and thank you so much for becoming a member. Thank you. That's awesome. Yes. Enjoy the emojis. Go wild. <laughs> All right, let's turn it back around and get further into the park. Whew. Already starting to sweat a good amount. Yep. It's, uh, it's uh, toasty. Good morning, Egg. Hey, Egg. Good morning, Joey. I'm just mousing around. <laughs> Good morning, Noah. Noah. <clears throat> Good morning, Lucky Dude. Hey there, Nathan. Oh, thank you so kindly again, Amanda. Welcome to Animal Kingdom, everybody. Here on the right hand side you guys see this like canopy area that is where you can do like the wilderness explorer stuff which is pretty cool yeah oh the air conditioning from the gift stores feels very nice yes it does It's busy up here by the front of the park. Quite, quite busy, yes. Let's hang it right as soon as we can. Okay. All right, guys. Busy, busy day. We are passing right by Discovery Trading Company now, guys. Heading in the general direction of Dinoland, USA. And there's our friend Kevin. Goodness, there's a tiny rustle. Raphael says she's a girl and she loves chocolate. Kevin loves chocolate? Kevin loves chocolate. Oh, that's true. I remember, oh, there's that chocolate bar for the uh, 
when we explored the Grand Floridian during Easter time, and the babies had like a chocolate bar there. Mm -hmm. Cool. Right? Start off the day just like that. Can I have you take the gimbal for a yeah, moment? Of course. I think there is a smudge on the lens. Oh, we'll have to fix that. Good morning, Crystal. Good morning, Raphael. Hey, Tracy. Great to see you guys. All right, we're gonna quick, uh, quickly fix a smudge on the lens. Hang on, everybody. Oh, it's not even on the one that's. Oh, no, there I'm you go. Both. All right. Get it? Should be all fixed now. Should be? Okay. Yes. Looks fantastic. Good, good, good. Oh, well, thank you so much, Marty M. Guys, that is our link on Instagram if you guys would like to follow us on there. That'd be awesome. That would be. Good morning, Movie Mania Nick. Hey, Nick. Good morning, Ann. Hey, Ann. And if you guys are just coming in and haven't already, if you'd kindly hit that like button for us. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, everybody. Also, if you're new here with the Park Hoppers, we're Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now, so please consider subscribing. We'd love to be able to bring you along in the future. Let's continue on to the next thing. Which I believe is right around here. That's the restrooms. Huh. Would it be where we just saw Kevin? I don't know. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Scott. Oh, anything we use, Jacob, it, we have it actually linked down in the description down below from our camera equipment to our survival gear here at Disney that we use kind of on the daily. So, uh, yeah, the links are all down below if you guys want to check it out. The only thing that's not linked is we are now using an Android. Uh, we're using the... Oh, yeah, we still have to link the Android. The Galaxy S23. Yeah, we'll link that um, soon. <laughs> Let's see here. Good morning, Julia. Oh, I'm on Wi-Fi. That's why I'm not getting anything. All right, let's try again. Can we hold the gimbal? Sure. One of the best things here at Animal Kingdom, in my opinion, is just the theming. I feel like the theming was just done so well, so well. Oh, Crystal says Flame Barbecue is a great place for sandwiches. Good to know. Thank you, Crystal. I Good morning, Lily. Right up here, just past these, this brush where people are going back there just before the bridge. Oh, okay. Let's go check that out. Yeah, this is where it is. Okay. Oh, but they're done already. I think. Oh, they finished? No, it's, it's no? nine minutes after. They're are we good? Or... I think. I think we're good. Okay. Oh, gotcha. All right. Well, guys, if you're looking to meet Moana, this is where you do it. It's about 45 minutes to an hour wait. But, uh, yeah, uh, this is the location for Moana now. Are you sure it's 45 minutes to an hour? That's what the cast member just said. Well, you know, um, right. it's up to you whether or not you want to wait. But, uh, well, let's check out what it looks okay. like. Simba 2. Festival of the Lion King, we also did that last, well, second to last time, I think. And actually, we have a vlog of the Festival of the Lion King show up on our channel. So if you're at all interested about checking the Festival of the Lion King out, please check out the vlog we have on our channel and please give it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. not moved at all since we joined uh, yeah. the line. The line is not moving, like yeah. not even one step. So let's go head out and do some other stuff here at Animal Kingdom. Let's go let's guys. Do.
Well, we got about a half. That's the Flame Tree Barbecue. Okay. That's that, the what? That's the Flame Tree Barbecue uh, no. quick stand. No, this no. is the Olive Java. Well, it's, okay, yeah. The Flame Tree Barbecue is more that way. You see that other one behind us? Right. That's Flame Tree Barbecue. I just thought that they were connected. So. No, I just didn't know what this was. Gotcha. So here at the Olive Java. Do you want to show it? Oh, Do you want sure. me to show it? I just oh. thought you were talking. I was so trying to get out of your way here. so you could show it. All right, so Ala Java has frozen Coke, Joffrey's Coffee Cold Brew, a Macaw specialty beverage. That's pretty cool. The Macaw thing is Minimade Lemonade, Fanta Cherry, and Fanta Blue Raspberry for four ninety nine. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then you got the Mickey Pretzel with cheese sauce for seven forty nine. Tiger Tail Chocolate Twist for they have the chocolate a Tiger Tail Chocolate Twist like the Cheshire Cat over at Magic. Yeah. For five seventy nine, and here is where you could get a churro with chocolate sauce for six thirty nine, and then they have a bunch of frozen beverages, beverages with alcohol, cappuccino, espresso, Joffrey's, pretty cool. That is really cool. I didn't know they had all those offerings there. I always, I'm always so focused on the Flame Tree Barbecue. When I passed through this location, I was like, what do they even have there? <laughs> do you want to show the Flame Tree Barbecue menu? Oh, sure. It's right here on the canopy. Alright. So here at the Flame Tree Barbecue, they have ribs, chicken, and pulled pork sampler. They have a ribs and chicken combo. They have a baked macaroni and cheese with pulled pork. There's a smoked pulled pork sandwich, a smokehouse chicken sand uh, salad, half a chicken. St. Louis uh, rib dinner and a hot link smokehouse sandwich. Also for the kids, there are uh, for guests nine age, uh, ages nine and under. They don't really. Uh, oh, they're down there. Gotcha. Baked uh, chicken drumstick, pulled pork platter, PB and J uncrustable, and an all beef hot dog. All meals include a cutie's mandarin and bug shaped graham crackers with a choice of small low fat milk or a small sunny bottle of water. I think everything on that menu looks absolutely fantastic. Sure. Oh, here comes Kevin again. That was funny. Man, I almost got a good photo of Kevin. And then Kevin's like, nope, I don't take photos. I'm on the move. The cast member was asking Kevin, do you want to go to the left or to the right? And Kevin looked left, looked right, and then went straight ahead. <laughs> good morning, Brian. Good morning. Good morning, Mary. You want to go through some of the trails here in front of uh, the Tree of Life real quick? I bet you we can see the otters for once. You think we can see the otters? Oh, some, th there's some animals back here. There certainly are. We've got a colored brown lemur and a ring-tailed lemur over here. There's the colored brown lemur right there. The animals are so active in the morning. So cool. Colored brown lemur is coming up on the ring-tailed lemur there. Well, there's another colored brown lemur in the background as well. And another ringtail lemur in the background. Oh, they're eating the pine cones. That's so cool. Hey, Mary Carol, welcome in. You're so 
so cute. Hello, Prince Julian. Oh, wrong park. Wrong park. Good morning, Andy. I am super duper curious if we can see the otters, though. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, he's doing something. Wait, no. He's just getting on the other he's rope. He's getting comfortable. Oh, he's so <laughs> cute. Oh my gosh. I almost said bye, Prince Julian. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, no, right, room park. Good morning, Holly. Good morning, Andy. Oh, very true, Julia. Percy Jane, yes, their tails so pretty. <laughs> oh. Lots of birds today. Also oh, lemurs are so cute though. Oh, did you guys see the ringtail lemur behind? Like, I don't know if you guys can see in the uh, tree in the back, there's also another ringtail lemur. In the palm? Mm -hmm. You see him? Yeah. Zoom in yeah, I was gonna say try to zoom in. There we go. Oh, super zoom. All right. You guys see him? Oh, so cool. All right, let's zoom back out. There we go. Yep. Hey, Chris was like, let's get coffee. <laughs> Chris was yeah. like, yes, yes. Animals are very active in the morning, <laughs> but let's go get coffee. Crystal knows. She's like. They have not had coffee yet. <laughs> One of my favorite, absolute favorite things to get here at Animal Kingdom is actually over at Joffrey's by the uh, frozen coke area uh, that's near Yak and Yeti. I love the matcha. They have a frozen matcha latte and it's usually really delicious. You know, this park is all about beauty of nature and conservation of nature and you're over here talking about eating nature. Ew. I was talking about a matcha Lawn frozen puppies. latte at Joffrey's. Nothing wrong with that. I'm sure your life looks beautiful this morning. Oh, no. The gaming ham says I'd rather stick with a triple espresso personally. <laughs> triple espresso, well, that sounds fantastic as well. Theme Park Fanatic says Monica's a coffee addict like me. <laughs> exactly. Oh, alright. So we were waiting, but it's alright. I'll take a photo as best as I can. Something with Disney always always bring your patient pants. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be patient. Yeah. You wanna check out one of the stores here? Oh, I was thinking we were gonna see the otters. Oh, the otters, yeah. Just wanna make sure we make it back in time. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. We got about 20 minutes. You wanna see the flamingos? Yeah, we'll pass by the flamingos. Very quickly, the way. cause they, uh... They're very stinky. Yes, they're very stinky. It is a beautiful day today, Josh. Pretty, but uh, stinky breeze. <laughs> For sure. I believe uh, flamingos get that pink color from the shrimp they eat. 
Yeah. Or is that, that's, that's a fact, right? <laughs> yeah, their, their diet uh, gives them the pink color. That's why when they're born, they're actually gray. All right, let's see if we see any otters today for the first time. I sure hope so. Well, not seeing anything in that first window. right over there, over the log. You see him? He's like, are they gone yet? Oh, there's another one right there. He's like, I found you. It is. Yeah. They're both just enjoying the shade right now and taking an early morning nap. Sleeping in a bit. It's really cool to see them finally, though. It is. I think they will. They're just napping. I think so. <laughs> That's really interesting, Amanda Blankenship. She said, fun fact about flamingos, two males can partner for life and raise chicks. Did not know that. Good morning, mouse ears and beers. Good morning, mouse ears and beers. Great to see you. Uh, Kelly, the Lion, the Festival of the Lion King, we actually have a vlog up of the, specifically the Festival of the Lion King up on our channel. So if you're at all interested about that, please check that out on our channel. Thank yep. you. Right. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, Michael. Oh, Michael says, coming next Saturday, staying till the following Friday. Looking forward to it. That's fantastic. Hope you have an awesome vacation. Uh, let's go check out some other animals. I think they're just napping now. Still got about 15 minutes. Right across from us, guys, is Pizza Fari. That's your. Uh... It uh, reopens at 10:30. Yeah. So Pizza Fari is not open until 10:30. Good to know. Do you want to see if we spot any more orders? We can. Those were just two. I wonder if there's any more to be spotted from up here, you know? Mm-hmm. Like any in the water or on the other island? Not seeing any. Maybe it is only those two. Might just be those two in the enclosure right now. Oh, Marty Ann, thank you so much. That is the link for our Festival of the Lion King vlog if you guys are interested at all. Absolutely. And if you guys do check it out, if you kindly give it a thumbs up, really appreciate that, guys. Absolutely. And for those of you who are asking about a ride, later on we will be taking the train and we will also be doing the safari. So stay tuned and we'll be doing some fun stuff later. Uh, we're also going to uh, have some surprises uh, up our sleeve this, this particular trip to Animal Kingdom. Some things we've never done before. So look forward to doing them with you. Let's look for the catfish that I also call a shark. Oh, there is a Peruvian shark catfish. It is a type of catfish that looks like a shark. <laughs> he just swam back that direction. We've got a Disney squirrel.
Let's see if we can see this catfish. Oh, there you yeah, go. Terrifying. No, he doesn't come through. He doesn't come through? I don't think so. Does he? I can't remember. I, I remember, like, I think there's like a cutoff wall here. Hmm. Because I think this is for the otters. Right. Yeah, this is the otter section, and then the catfish is on the other side. Right. That makes sense. There he is. That is a big catfish. Also called a mini shark. Team Park Fanatic says I'd love to eat catfish. Maybe not this one though. Oh my goodness, Grasshopper. Grasshopper, thank you so much. Let's turn that around. Grasshopper gave us a uh, four ninety nine super chat. Oh, thank you so much. They said it says uh, Grasshopper said just something towards the channel. Thank you so much, Grasshopper. Thank you so much. Very much appreciate that. Absolutely. Had a bug on me. Yeah, I just had a bug. Sorry about that. But thank you, Grasshopper, for the super chat. We sincerely appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's uh, turn it back around and take a look at some other things. Yes. Let's see. Thank you once again, Grasshopper. Catfish should be coming out one more time here, and then we'll move on. Zori's not a fan of catfish. All right, let's go find another animal then. Let's go. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na. It, it's, a, it's a catfish. It's not a shark, guys. I just, I don't know. Out of fun, I just call it like a baby shark. It's, it's kind of cute. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go and find the monkeys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry, says I meant to eat. Yeah, no, I, I get that. Um, last time I had catfish, there was a lot of. Uh, Look at the hidden draft. Yeah. Wasn't uh, the best, but yep. And here is Creature Comforts, guys. Heads up, it is also Starbucks. But they call it Creature Comforts at Disney. It's it is. Animal Kingdom. The Starbucks location here. Well, they have cinnamon rolls. Uh, they're not the. I was curious to see if they were like uh, at Magic Kingdom because they're like pride with the rainbow icing. Right. So cute. There's a baby on the back. There's a baby on the baby's back. There is a baby. <laughs> three of them on our back. Two or three? Yeah. If I can get it to focus on something other than the fence. Yeah, this uh, fence is a little difficult. So guys, this is a cotton top tamarind. This looks like Mama. have happened very recently. Holly <laughs> says, I can has? <laughs>
It's crazy how even the full grown ones look so small, you know? There's two or three babies. It might just be one or two, yeah. Looks like there's two clinging on. face over there. It's looking around. Oh. Mom, you're so active. Yeah, I think we're seeing two as well, guys. Excuse me. So cute. They're like foraging right now. Mm -hmm. Good morning, the mayor. Good morning, the mayor. Oh no, mayor, are you sick? Mayor was saying, uh, I can't catch my nose, it keeps on running. Oh no, hope you feel better, the mayor. Sorry about that, mayor. Hang in there. So mama's over there with a couple of babies on her back. I assume this is another female. We can ask um, the cast members for some information. That's true. They just passed by and I heard the babies are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> the babies made like a little chirpy noise. Mm -hmm. That was so cool. Gosh, Joy, you notice? <laughs> Good morning, Kenneth. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, Holly, you heard it. That's awesome. And guys, if you are just joining us, we are here at Disney's beautiful Animal Kingdom. <laughs> And these are the, what are they called? The cotton the tail? Cotton top tamarinds. Cotton top tamarinds. Excuse us. If we can bother you, um, are those two babies that are on the, on the back? Yes. When were they uh, born? Sunday night. Sunday, Sunday. night, my I'm goodness. I'm like, they're so tiny. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And they're all, are they all females in this enclosure? No, we have male and female, mom oh. and dad. Oh, mom and dad are in here. And then okay. we don't know the gender of the babies yet because they're, we haven't gotten a look. That's oh, so exciting. So you guys are doing like initial <laughs> studies oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, we're doing making sure everything is going as it should. We should never need to intervene. Nature should take its course. Right. But they're first time parents. So oh. we're making sure everything goes as we expect it to so far. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Good place, yeah. Thank you so much for the information. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, wow, they were just born on Sunday. That's crazy. They're so little. <laughs> so glad that everything's going like how it should. That's that's fantastic news, though. Especially for being first time parents. That's awesome. Right? Nick says, OMG, I just looked out my backyard and there are two baby deer, or two deer and a baby deer. That's awesome, Nick. It's like baby time. <laughs> Koi Kitty says, happy birthday, little babies. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Will the Thriller. Great to see ya. Good morning. Let's see. Can we see them again one more time before we move on? Yeah, one more time, I think, would be oh, it's a little see. busy now. Yep. Oh, this is completely open. What is? Oh, I'm sorry. I left the pocket open. Yeah. The back the... Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, they may have gone inside. Let's see. I think they went inside here. Well, it yep. is getting very hot. Alright. So maybe they're cooling off right now, you know? Let's see, anything we can see in there? 
Yeah, they're inside. Okay. Yeah, this is a cotton top tamarind family, guys. Mom and dad. And the two new babies that were just born on Sunday are in there. That's awesome. All right, let's continue exploring. Let's do it. Let's head back towards the uh, tree of life. Okay. I'll follow you. Sounds good. Yeah, guys, so if you didn't hear, that is uh, the cotton top tamarinds, our first time parents. Yes. And they just had their babies Sunday night. That's so crazy. That's amazing. So that's two babies that are clinging onto the back of mom. And they're just making tiny little chirp sounds. The cast members, uh, Disney in general, have no idea what the genders are of the babies. They haven't intervened too, at all. They're too young at this point. Yeah. They're and doing everything uh, very, you know, very proper. They're, they're saying, you know, let nature take its course and uh, everything should be just fine. They're looking healthy and they're just monitoring them and making sure everything goes well. Yeah, like the cast member said, everything's going okay so far and looking good. So that's great news. It is. So that's a really special thing right there. That's really cool. So guys, I think Crystal was asking about the menu for Pizza Fari. Since right. we're here real quick, let's yeah. pass by here. It says... Uh, They've got a pepperoni pizza with a Caesar salad, sausage and pepperoni pizza also with a Caesar salad, cheese pizza with a Caesar salad, chicken parmesan salad, or well, chicken parmesan sandwich with a Caesar salad, <laughs> greens and grains salad, I almost expected it to come with a Caesar salad, and then Caesar salad with chicken with croutons and Caesar dressing. Do you think they've invested these, in Big Caesar? These um, pizzas look very similar to the ones that you could find at Pizza Rizzo over at Hollywood Studios, in my oh, opinion. Thank Micheline Messina, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Joshar. <laughs> good to see each and every one of you this morning. Thank you for being here. Always love this uh, photo op over here with uh, Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa. Oh, wow. Some guests who just got married are taking a photo there. So oh, cool. No. Someone in here was uh, just saying, uh, uh oh, Eric, Monica's getting baby fever. Oh. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, guests just got married. No, it's just because they have, you know, the mini and Mickey, like, headwear. Yeah, no, it, it for, was. Like, because they got married, and then they have the button that they're celebrating their wedding. And then it, I just thought it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Just the timing was just awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. So in about two minutes, there's gonna be something special that happens here in front of the Tree of Life. We've never seen it before. Oh, I'm glad we got here two minutes ahead of time. Right? Is it? Okay. Oh, have you yes, ever the noticed? The person stands in there. Right. From what I've seen. Have you ever noticed the beavers in here? Are those otters? Or otters beavers? or beavers? Yeah. I think, I'm gonna say they're otters. You think they're otters? What do you guys in chat think? Are those otters or beavers? I say otters. And in the meantime, guys, I've got to reset the phone real quick, so we'll be right back. Just doing a real quick refresh. I'll put that in the chat. Thank you. All right, guys, we should be back. Oh no, we've, we've formed teams, uh oh. Team Otters versus Team Beavers? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, Steve Apple was saying, Monica, I saw a really cute purple bucket hat on another sh stream the other day and thought of you guys. Oh, thank you so much, Steve. That's awesome. I am still on the hunt for the uh, stitch bucket hat. I haven't seen it in person yet. Thank you guys for letting us know that we're back. Yeah, we've got the two cast members right now uh, behind this, uh, the structure here. Are they already here? Yep. Yeah, because it's gonna like, cause they're all gonna come, you know, here. Right. Butterfly, that's pretty. Might need to do this on point five. Might need to, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna be wow. everywhere they in a second should, here. Uh, from everything I've ever studied, they come from that side. Yeah, agreed. Good morning, Nevet. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Good morning, all ninja watchers. 
Hope you're enjoying Animal Kingdom with us this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday morning. Oh yeah. It is toasty, but it is gorgeous. Agreed. All right, should be happening any minute now. It should be. It's time. It's, it is time. Like, uh, I feel like we might very be, Lion King-esque. Right? It is time. You might be I, better where? I feel like we're still too close. All right, we can stand back a little. I just yeah. didn't want to... Uh, you're in the flowers though. <laughs> you don't want to get stung by a bee. You think we're still too close? I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Maybe now I'll put it on the one. Yeah, when the cast members are out. Yeah, I think they, I think they've called the birds already. You think they've called them yet? I think so. Yeah, yep. I think so. This happens really fast. It does. Oh, sorry about that, Grasshopper. Uh, yes, guys, make sure that your live indicator is red, not gray, and you'll be live with us. Also, make sure while you're at it that your quality is at 1080p or the highest that you can get, depending on your situation, uh, so you can have the highest quality possible. <laughs> I'm so excited for this right now. Can you take a picture of us? Um, <laughs> Holly says, I saw a TikTok where someone thought that the birds had escaped. They didn't know this was a thing. They were like, ooh, someone's about to lose their job. <laughs> I think they're going to fly past the Tree of Life first. You think you're gonna have to take life first? And then swoop around on the right side. Okay. I think is how it works. Alright, well, we're ready. I'm really excited about this. I'm listening for like the bird calls, you know? Right? I think they may announce it. We're just a few minutes behind schedule, so not too bad. Oh no, Kirsty Jane says, I'm rather uh, dumbfounded by all the various things you've never seen or done. Well, the so, thing is, like, a lot of these things happen really early, especially here at Animal Kingdom. Right. And it's usually impossible for us to get here so early. Uh, and has been in the past as well, so we've missed out on a lot of things. Also, we tend to come to the parks, go do the things that we enjoy, and then go home because we live so close to the parks. So, it does tend to tend to be that way. Where are the birds? Then There's a pigeon. <laughs> Not the right kind of species we're looking for. Well, the birds are on their own schedule. They are free to do as they please. Yeah, maybe they haven't been uh, called over yet. They're only a few minutes late right now. Gotcha. Hey, love bugs. Welcome in. Good morning, love bugs. Oh, it is super toasty. <laughs> <laughs> like, extra crispy toasty. Julia, yeah, they are, they're free to go to uh, fly over to this side of the park. Um, they just, they are trained well 
Yes. But they also uh, they, they, are free. Uh, they roam as they please as well, yeah. Animal Kingdom, Disney does an amazing job of training the animals, taking care of the animals, conservation, all that like super wonderful stuff. Yeah, and this is a great uh, demonstration just to show the uh, beauty of some of the animals. Oh, very true, Julia. We might hear them coming, for sure. We've seen a lot of different bird species, though. We certainly have. Just not the macaws. Because? Macaws. Oh. <laughs> because they're macaws. Because. I wonder if they're doing some cast member training. I don't know. That might, that might be a thing. That's exactly Holly. The ones in the show are called macaws because of their claws? No, because they're macaws. Cast member who's waiting right now uh, has been around for at least the last uh, four or five years. Which one? Uh, the one here in front of the uh, structure. Oh yeah. She was on the uh, TV show. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Grasshopper says, "I know we used to raise birds when I was younger, and birds can be crazy stubborn, even if trained." I get you. They're saying that they're hanging out on the other side of the park right now. Oh no, they're on the other side of the park? Well, in eight minutes is the uh, Feathered Friends in Flight. Do you want to go catch that show and then uh, come back after? Because they'll do it again at 11.15. Um, I I'm not sure. How long till the Feathered Flights... Uh... So they waited for them to come home to do the next show. Gotcha. So what? They're waiting for them to go back to their enclosure before they'll start this. Oh, so this might be a while. This might be a while. Wow. Okay. Seven minutes until Feathered Friends in Flight? Yeah, I guess let's go catch that show because, like, it might be a while. It might be. All right. Let's go do it. Do you want to confirm that they're doing the 11.15 one or? Yeah, I'll check. Just real quick. How are you doing, Miss Corey? Uh, you guys are still doing the 11.15 showing of this as well, right? Possibly. Possibly. They have two birds out from our last shows because of social dynamics. We can't release this block until they go home. So we're able to give them another, like, five minutes to do that. But if they don't, we're going to have to cancel this one. We'll be back at 11.15. Awesome. Okay. We'll be back at 11.15. Thank Thanks you so much, <laughs> Which way do the feathered friends? That, that way? That way? That way. That way. That way. That way. Yeah. I might see them on the Asia exit sign. That's oh, really? right now. Uh -huh. So they're probably looking really cute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Well, that's pretty awesome. We might see some macaws on the way there. There you go. There's uh, two rogue macaws right now who are uh, haven't wanted to go home yet since uh, the 9:15 show. So uh, they've just been hanging out over here on the way to Feathered Friends in Flight. Uh, and until they go home, they can't start this next show because of social dynamics. And so. Yeah. Uh, if they don't return home in the next couple of minutes, they'll actually cancel the showing of that uh, particular event, yeah, and they'll, they'll try again at 11:15. Yeah, 11:15. And I know that's a, I mean, awesome park hopper tip for you guys right there. If you're ever in doubt about anything, ask a cast member because usually they know what's up. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Just under five minutes before the show. She said in the, um, which sign? I don't recall. Was it recall. the Asia? I think so. Possibly. You can be a man, be a man without me. Yep, there they are. Up, oh, one just flew down. Oh, no worries at all, Marty M. Thank you. Thank you, Marty M. 
So the other one just flew off of the Asia sign as well. But they're definitely not home yet. <laughs> they're just up in that tree right now. Oh, that's a flotilla. But I think they're probably out of view. I think they're out of view now. Uh, I think they're, are they? Yep. Oh. Yep, all right. Long gun. Long gun. I think it was just the drum, I think it was the, uh, the drum race. Yes, exactly. All right, we've got three minutes for Feathered Friends in Flight. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Oh, yeah. The Macaws wanted to hear the flotilla music. I wouldn't be surprised if the Macaws joined the Feathered Friends in Flight show here. Alright guys, welcome to Feathered Friends in Flight. Alright honey, whatever seat you'd like. Thank you. Do you want our usual first? Wherever you'd like, man. You pick. Okay. Uh, let's go over this way. I personally like, I like the bleachers. Yeah. Oh, like wherever you want. Well, I was thinking the picture is right over here. Right about here? This is a good angle, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you tell them, birds. <laughs> good morning, Veronica. Good morning, Veronica. Great to see you. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Are those uh, ornamental lamp fixtures? Are those uh, new? The red and uh, blue? I don't recall from last time, but I'm always so focused on the birds. That's fair. On this show that I don't recall. Good morning, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Let's take a few more steps up and see if we can get a little bit higher here. No? Okay. Good morning, Lisa Moore. Hello, Cynthia. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning, Lisa. Good to see you. Hey, Joe Nardo. Good morning, Joe Nardo. Joe Nardo? Mm -hmm. He says he got to make magical moments last night and loved it. <gasps> That's fantastic, Joe. How is everything going? How are you enjoying the Magic Kingdom? Megan H. Good morning. Says so first time seeing this show. That's awesome. That's awesome. We hope you enjoy. Yeah, we always try to catch this show every time we're at Animal Kingdom because it's really, really cool. It is. And they teach you a, really, a lot of really cool stuff.
I see a little raven up there. A little raven or a big raven? Enjoy the show, everybody. Oh, nice to meet you. 
tell me, check it out, I have it right here. I have 49 into the launcher. The audience is going to count it down for free. And when we get to one, it is your job to stomp on that launch pad as hard as you can. Shoot the gray bucket as high as possible. You got it? Okay, I think we're ready to go. Help me count them down. In three, two, one. Go, go, go. I cannot believe that just worked. That, yeah, that worked way better than I thought it would. I was a little bit nervous for the front row here for a second, but. But that's fine, right. though. All right, Harvey, you certainly are a fancy flyer, but it is time to head on home. Got one more treat for me. All you have to do is head up to that window, take it aside. It is, it is nice, Ellen. Uh-huh. All right, one hop up. Here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> one hop this time. Two hopes this time. Slide to the left. Slide to the left. Harvey, the trumpet horn, Miller, right? All right, so some adaptations of birds can't be seen at all. It takes place in the intelligence that they have. Take yeah. our little crow here. Yeah, so this is Texas. He's a pine crow, one of the smartest birds that we work with. And we have a really cool way to show this off, but I need another volunteer. This time it has to be an adult, and you need a dollar bill. Yes, so hands are going down. People are not sure if they have cash on them. How about right here in the white tank top with the sunglasses on your head? Do you have a dollar bill? Yeah, wait, okay. perfect. Here's what you're going to do. Stand up. You're going to hold your mouth to the side and get perched with it. What we've done is teach Texas to know where we want them to fly based on who's holding that prop. So, he spots you, flies right out, lands on your arm. How cool is that? Then he takes your money. And where does it go? You can do it. You can do it. I'm going to help you out a little bit. Being able to 
use that eyesight to see that, as well as, as I said before, incredibly uh, keen hearing. Uh, they can actually hear really well under uh, animals running underneath snow. Here we go. All right, is that cool? Almost, almost silent flight. So, all that. One of the other things that he's showing off, you probably have heard that owls can go ahead and turn their head all the way around. It's actually not true. They turn their head three quarters one way, three quarters the other way. How many things can do that when they're parents, right kids? So with all that, uh, their vertebrae is roughly, uh, they actually have more vertebrae than we do. And where we and giraffes have about the same amount of vertebrae. You want to come on up this way, JJ? Here you go. Or you can just stay there and then <laughs> it'll look super cool on the tree. There you go. So one of the other things um, as we've been looking at it, you check out that awesome uh, camouflage feather pattern he has. It really makes him just blend right into the trees. All right, you ready? All you have to do is head on home and make some of the other birds nervous around here. That was JJ, the great horn owl, everyone. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, tickets are all back in the coop, safe and sound. That's great. We are going to fly the owl. She almost got the tail end. Okay, well, you got all the cool stuff you know about owls. I think I told you a lot of things I know about owls, right? Okay, how about a bonus fact? An owl uh, the size of JJ, and then hawks too. They can eat a thousand mice in one year. Yeah. It is, and it's really good for us, actually. We had the biggest rat problem here. Yeah. That's what we don't even remember. It was so bad. They were everywhere. They were. They were absolutely everywhere. So, yeah, we ended up going to natural rats to get rid of them. We brought owls in uh, at nighttime. Yeah. Daytime, we brought in the hawks. Yeah. Mice, rats, and down. Yeah, that's the polite way to put it. I know it was really gross. But, yeah, don't need to worry. The rat problem is fine just now.
shooting was pretty good though, right? <laughs> okay, well, I did have a new TJ for what we were going to do next. So, yeah, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to maybe jump in. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's throw something new in since we have a couple of minutes. This is really cool. Um, would you all want to meet a parent? Yeah? Okay, there's a trainer in the back who's been working on some really cool stuff with one of our little parents. Let me see if she can bring a mouth Hold on one second. Hey, guys. Hey, Lisa, perfect. Could you maybe bring out Kiwi? Yeah, would you want to do that thing you've been working on? Yeah, 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 I will. Okay, so this is awesome. Lisa, one of the trainers backstage, is going to bring out Kiwi. Kiwi is an African gray parrot, and he is really, really smart. He knows a lot of fun stuff, but the coolest thing he knows how to do is he knows how to do math. And actually, I'm thinking instead of just showing everyone how we can do math, what if we have like a little competition? Is there is there anyone out there who might want to have a math competition? Let's say if you're between the ages of like eight and ten, and you want to come up on stage, and you're really good at math. Your hand went down. Are you sure? In the red shirt, you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Meet me right over here by the steps. Lisa, thank you so much for coming out. You're welcome. Hi everyone. Like Lucy said, my name is Lisa. Uh, this bird is Kiwi. He's a lot of fun. He's an African gray parrot. Can you say hello? He's, he's got a little quiet voice, but he can actually introduce himself too. What's your full name? What's your full name? Kiwi BB. We gave him Kiwi. He filled in the rest on his own. But he is super smart, right? He's been hanging around our chickens. And I think he's been park hopping as well. I figured out his favorite ride is Pirate. Good job, buddy. Okay, but like uh, Lucy mentioned, of all the things he knows, he actually he knows math. It's super fun. So say it right to my microphone. What is your name? Cole. Cole, give it up for Cole, everyone. And happy birthday. So, math competition, right? All you need to do, answer into that mic before TV answers into this one, okay? Are you ready, Cole? All right, we'll start off with an easier one. Um, what is one plus three? Four. Four. Okay. We'll call it a warm up, alright? Now, now we got it all sorted out. You were right behind him, right? Um, okay, here's another one. What is 7 minus 3? Four. Okay. He's fast. Oh, wait, yeah. He's, he's, that was really quick. Hold on a second. Can you slow him down a little? Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll try a harder one. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, got this. Okay, cool. Kiwi. What is 12 divided by 3? Four. Four. Okay. Hey. You were right behind him. You're straight down a little bit. So close. Yes. Really close. Well, then you're having fun. Yeah? Okay, good. Are you having fun? Woo! We are winning, so that makes sense. But listen, I, you are a great sport, and um, here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to throw out all those other questions. We're going to do one more winner takes all. Do we think Cole can do it? Yeah. You got this, Cole. You got this. Or the grand prize was two plus two. Four. Hey, guys! Extremely challenging pets for a lot of reasons. 
Yeah, they, they are very loud, especially in the confines of your home. They have an incredibly strong bill, and that goes into your furniture when you bring it into your house. On top of that, bird like, ki like kiwi or small parrot, 50, 60 year lifespan. So, definitely yeah. a long time. Huge commitment. Also, so, I'm sorry, David. Um, and we wanted to introduce everybody to Natasha. Ooh, okay, Natasha! Uh, yeah, Natasha is... Is it out? Should be something. Oh, oh are you going to go get it? Yeah, I'll see if I can. Okay, this is really cool. You guys ready for a treat? Natasha is... I said Solo is one of our newest birds. Natasha is our newest bird too. So she's going to be with us for about a week and a half. Look at that cool bird. Yeah, so Natasha is a marabou stork. Uh, now she's got... She's got a pretty big wingspan, about seven feet, right? The males, the males get even bigger up to 11 feet. They're found in the span of the Yeah, so, oh, heads up, here she comes. Really cool birds, but they're also really important out there because of the job that they have. They're scavengers, they can get stuff, right? It is gross, but important because, whoa, that was an interesting flight down there. We're gonna see if she wants to fly back up to Corey. Nicely done, Natasha. So yeah, it's important because when animals die out in the wild, Bird like this comes along, and they're the ones that are helping to clean up that mess, right? Which helps stop the spread of disease and keeps wild places clean. Yeah, absolutely. And if we cleaned up the world much the way that these birds do, it would be that much cleaner of a place. Not all blank, lightning speed. That's Natasha, the bear of the sword. She's so cute. Yeah, I know. We have to face only a mother could love, but we are all very involved. Oh, she's so good. Well, as beneficial as marabou storks start in their environment, eating up all the dead stuff, uh, our next bird is as equally uh, beneficial to farmers now. So that means it loves off their crops. Everybody, this is a crown crane. And his name is Fraser. Fraser Gray. Couple people. That, yeah, that had exactly what it deserved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the last time I worked this bird, uh, was not a good thing. He flew off the margarita yeah. cart. So no, you really, can practice it. Come on, we talked about this. Like, Come on. Normally, I'm the one who calls Frasier down the stage. TJ has been working on it. He's been doing a lot of practice backstage, and I think you're ready to try it again out here. What do y'all think? Should TJ be the crane? Yeah. Come on, TJ, just try it. It's going to go better. You've been working really hard. Do you have treats on you? Uh, yeah. Okay, come on, right there on the grass. This okay. is a huge part of the training, right? The relationship building. That's what TJ's been working on. Okay, here you go. This way. Frazier. 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 Yeah. Frazier. Yeah. Close. You didn't even look at it. I think we should try again. He was looking at it when he first came over. I think we need to stop trying again. And I have something that might help you out. Okay. I know you've been practicing with Frazier and kind of, you know, hitting some roadblocks. But I thought this would help you guys take the next step. It's right over there behind the rock. But look, see, crown cranes get their name from the crest of golden feathers on their head. So I thought it would help TJ. Come on, to have his own crest of golden feathers. Come on, you. Oh, thank you so much. Why not? I, no, I don't. Nobody wants to see me put this on. I think they do. For all of you. <laughs> you kind of look like Guy Fieri. <laughs> okay, now get serious, TJ. Come on, this is gonna help you out because now when he looks up, he's gonna see the crown of golden feathers, right? Then you can calm him down. Look, he's looking right at you. Get ready. Calm down the flavor tail. Hi. Look, he's not even coming. See? He's oh, oh.
Yeah, absolutely. There's lots of stories to talk about that in particular. One that comes to mind for me, though, is this story of the symbol of pride of the United States of America, the bald eagle. Everyone had lucky to be Hope. Now, Hope is a young bird who was injured and wasn't able to go back out to the wild. She found a home here with us. Uh, and that enabled us to be able to tell the story, the plight of what the bald eagle was going through. It was a time not that long ago that their numbers had dropped so incredibly low, it was feared future generations were never going to see these awesome birds out in the wild again. Something happened. People took notice. They made changes. They started cleaning up the waterways for bald eagles for fishing. They even stopped using chemical pesticides like DDT, which is actually a big reason for the downfall. Yeah, and the cool thing is, it was people, like everyone here, who made the difference, helped bring these birds back from the brink of extinction. Yeah, their numbers rose so incredibly high, they were officially taken off the endangered species list. It's a true testament to the power that we all hold collectively to help all sorts of species out in the wild. Yeah, it's an amazing conservation success story, but there are still a lot of animals out there who really need our help, including these birds. This is Sig, and he's a blue-throated macaw. Yeah, blue-throated macaws are one of the most endangered species of macaw found in the world. Only in Bolivia, it's thought right now there's only 50 breeding pairs of these birds left. Yeah, it's a scary low number, but it's not all bad news. We've teamed up with an organization called the World Parrot Trust, and they're breeding blue-throated macaws whose offspring we released into Bolivia to join up with the populations there, so that hopefully one day we'll get to see skies filled with blue-throated macaws. And what an incredible sight that would be. But it doesn't end there. There's so many birds all around the world. Take Bowie the knob horn bill when over the tree over there. Um, all the other this kind of bird. What kind of bird is this, everyone? A toucan. His name is Bruno. So we're going to talk about it. There's a lot of cool animals out there. Go out in nature and explore. Have an adventure. And everyone might find a few new favorite. Yeah, absolutely. And on behalf of all of us here on stage, including those with feathers, we'd like to leave you with this final wish. May your hearts take flight and your spirits soar forever. Namaste. Thank you all so much. You've been a lot of fun this morning. Enjoy the rest of your day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Explorers and friends. Thank you for joining us for Feathered Friends in Flight. Have a wonderful rest of the day exploring Disney's Animal Kingdom. Always a very cool show. Hey everybody, thank you for being here. For those of you who just came in during the Feathered Friends in Flight show, we are here at Animal Kingdom today. Let's uh, make our way out in just a second. So hey guys. So cool. We are the park hoppers from Monaco and Eric. We go live in the parks all the time now guys. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button. We'd greatly appreciate it guys. Thank you so much. Do you want to grab a coffee before we head out back to the front of the park? Or a frozen matcha latte over at Jaffrey's? <laughs> Let's over, head over to Jaffrey's. Jaffrey's. Jaffrey's? Yeah. I can speak. Yeah. I think. I think so. Hey Gary. Hey Christian. Great to see you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the, I always get the wrong name for the show, Birds in Flight? Mm -hmm. Oh, so Feathered cool. Friends Feathered, Feathered Friends in Flight. So cool. Like my favorite is the Toucan and the um, Luther and Macaws are, oh, I know you, I know your favorite. You like that, um, the one from Seinfeld? Oh, cool. <laughs> I like the name. You like the name? Not oh. from Seinfeld though. Oh, it's not uh, from Seinfeld? What show is it from? Gosh, what was the name? <laughs> I don't remember. It's the one with all like the little like Fraser Crane. Fraser, Fraser Crane. Crane, yes. Yeah. Oh, so. but they were so cool. Absolutely. My my favorite's always the bald eagle though. The bald eagle's your oh, favorite? Yeah. Oh, the, beautiful. I love the bald eagle as well. But the I mean the toucan and the blue throated macaws have my heart. Like especially the toucan, so pretty. Oh gosh. All right, let's go to Joffrey's and get some good stuff to drink because like I'm very thirsty. Let's do it. <laughs> Yes, Fraser Crane was from Fraser, uh, as oh, well Frasier. as Cheers. Uh, I don't his... know why I thought Seinfeld. <laughs> All very good sitcoms, right? That is true. 
baby, I hear the music calling. I saw that it's this grand new day. So, walking out of that show, let's take a left here. And up on our right is Drink Walla, and just a little bit past that is the Joffrey's location here in Animal Kingdom. I think it's. You guys need to go home so you're ready for the 11:15 bird show. <laughs> I said, you guys need to go home so you're ready for the 11:15 bird show. It's so funny that the birds are just doing their thing today. Woo. It just uh, went up about 10 degrees as soon as we walked out in that sun. It is, uh, as Theo Samigo said this morning, it is toasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that word. I'm going with that today. Whoa. Look at all the cookies. Oh, wow, yeah. Um, are they out of donuts? No, they have donuts as well, but... Wow. I guess we've never been here so early. What did she say? She said, hello, welcome to Duffy's. Oh, awesome. Ooh, what's this braided one? I don't know. That looks pretty good. Hey, good morning, Shannon. Good hey, morning, Shannon. Eddie. Hey, Chris. Hey, house pet. Great to see you guys. Happy Wednesday. Thank you for enjoying Animal Kingdom with us this morning. It's been Absolutely. awesome. Hey, Sean. Now, Chris, I think I read right before the bird show back there, uh, is dealing with a kidney stone right now. We're so sorry about that, Chris. We hope that it passes quickly and yeah. as painlessly as possible. Zoe says, soon, Chris. Zoe says that's a cinnamon twist donut. Today. <laughs> is this normal now or? It's just like the days that we listen after that. Oh, okay. So and what's, um, I'm curious, what's the braided, uh, the long one? Uh, it's just like a glazed donut, but on a twisted spread. Oh, oh that's okay. Cool. And then this one, it's a cinnamon roll, and then what's on top? The apple fritter? That's that's okay. I had a bad experience with the apple fritter at Joffrey's once. They always look good, but the one time I ordered it over somewhere, it was like... It was a TTC. Oh, the TTC. It I got was... the apple fritter and I bit it right into it. It was pure oil. Yeah. So I've never gotten it since. <laughs> but the donuts always look fantastic. They do. Yeah. Um, do you guys have the matcha today? We got the best matcha, yes. We oh. Them, oh, okay. I was like, I don't see it. I, that's my favorite thing to get here. So you want the present matcha? And yes. you have uh, the frozen cappuccino drink. Frozen cappuccino? Extra espresso. Extra shot of espresso? And no one cream. Yep. Okay, he's getting another extra shot of espresso with kind of milk. That's oh, perfect. He knows. Okay. The more espresso, the better. <laughs> and that's everything with the annual pass holder discount. And here's my annual pass. Thank you. Happy latte? Okay. It's going to be 11 You're going to pay with... It'll be hard. You can go ahead and drop it into your bed. Thank you. You can remove your card. I freaked out. I didn't see the matcha and I'm like, oh no, wait, the matcha. <laughs> it's the only place. It's, you guys make the matcha so I love the spot. You guys make it here perfectly every time. I've had it once before you enter the park and it was not the same. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Sounds good. You too. We've got about 10 minutes before we need to be out in front of uh, the Fear Live. Sounds good. I think we have plenty of time. Oh, yeah. Sean Stoltz, 15, says, I'm boiling. I'm at Magic Kingdom waiting outside for mine train. Help. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stay um, cool. Stay hydrated. Be safe. Yeah. Stay out and in the sun as much as possible. And enjoy the Magic Kingdom. Yes. And keep in mind, you can get water at any of the, uh, the dining locations, any of the quick serve locations. Uh, Casey's Corner, what would be closer to that? Uh, you've got the dining location right there in uh, in Fantasyland. I'm trying to think of the name of um, both Pinocchio's Village House and the one that's over closer to you. I can't remember the name of though. Did the princesses go back to? What are you talking about, Mama? The, the dining location. Uh, that the princesses go back to in Oh, uh, they Fantasy go Night. by Fire Nook. Fire Nook. Uh, yeah. Fire's Nook. Thank you. Yep. 
So if you need water or anything like that when you're done with the ride, yeah. you can stop by either Friars Nook or Pinocchio Village House and pick up a glass Yeah, of water. any Disney quick service restaurant, you can usually get a cup of uh, complimentary water. Yep. They also sell bottled water um, and Powerades, good things like that at Absolutely. a lot of locations. Thank you. Is this the um, extra shot of espresso? Yes. Oh, okay. This never looks so icy on top. That's awesome. I'm excited you're, for it. I know you're excited about yes. it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, can I have it for another um, cup? Just to double the cup. Holly got to ride Mine Train for the first time last month. That's awesome. Yeah, Mine Train's a really fun ride. Which reminds me, uh, in, Thank you so much. on June 24th, guys, we'll be doing the four, well, not the four, but the Mountain Challenge here at Walt Disney World. Now, that challenge used to be Splash Mountain, Thunder Mountain, and Space Mountain, but because Splash Mountain is now closed, we're doing the Mountain Challenge with the Park Hopper Twist. We're doing uh, Space Mountain, Thunder Mountain, Seven Doors Mine Train, and then we're park hopping over to uh, Animal Kingdom here to do Everest. And that'll be on June 24th at 9 a.m., everybody. Good morning, Buffy, my girl, and Disney Mom 19. Hey guys. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Tink for Life Jones. Good morning, Jonathan. Great to see you all. What is this? That's your frozen matcha. Oh, awesome. Wayne says, I thought I was the only one who asked for double cups, Monica. Well, <laughs> I asked for double cups to make sure like it doesn't melt right away. Yeah. Yeah, it's a double cup. Oh, thank you. Oh, Joey G. Yeah, thank you. Catherine. All right, so. Sure. Let me get some show. Okay, honey. Joey G. will we'll acknowledge that in just a second. Thank you so much for that, Joey G. What happened? Joey G. just renewed his membership. <gasps> Joey G., thank you so much. He is uh, celebrating one month of membership. He says, oh, cool, I didn't know how. <laughs> Here's to many more months, says Joey G. Well, thank you so much, Joey G. You wanna, I'll just show your drink real quick. Okay. So, guys, this is Eric's uh, frozen cappuccino dream with an extra shot of espresso. Yep. That's his always go to. You don't want napkins? Sure. Thank you. Okay. And it is delicious, guys. And then I got my favorite thing to get here at Animal Kingdom it is the frozen matcha latte. So good, I'm so excited. Uh, let me put the... Gotcha. Hey, Alicia S. It is so toasty. It is. Let's head out. Did you want cinnamon powder or anything additional? Nope, thank you though. That's something I like that they have at this location is cinnamon. Gotcha. So Sean got boarding group 70 for Tron. That's awesome. That's awesome, Sean. And Enjoy they're, Tron. They're already boarding groups 35 to 40, so a little bit longer, and uh, he'll be on Tron. That's awesome. We hope you enjoy. Hey, Mike Wazowski. Oh, it's Kirsty Jane. Thank you so much for dropping our mountain challenge link in the chat. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Kirsty Jane. Yeah, guys, that'll be on June 24th at 9 a.m. And uh, if you're interested, guys, uh, about anything regarding Tron, we do have a vlog of that on our channel as well. One of our biggest tips before um, you uh, launch off in Tron is just to make sure you get comfortable and you feel secure in your seat before the launch. Yeah, well, uh, especially uh, while you're first getting into uh, the seat before you actually, like, leave the uh, cast member area. So you can speak to a cast member if you need to as well. Yeah, the cast members are always so... So helpful and so kind and they're very patient with the guests especially because the tron vehicle is like a motorcycle it's a light cycle mm -hmm. it's not your average roller coaster by far it's kevin kevin again kevin's a girl we've seen kevin so many times today this is amazing let's take a left here real quick On the left-hand side is where you can meet Mickey and Minnie, too, by the way. Oh, sure.
<laughs> hey, Robert Terpstra. Pretty awesome. All right, we've got about five, five minutes. minutes. Are you struggling to drink that one? No, not at all. Oh, okay. I'm about halfway done. <laughs> well, the thing is, when it's like icy on top, the problem is it's uh, it's usually really icy on top, but very really liquidy on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Christian, like Christian Serhas, member for one month, Park Hoppers, says thanks for all you do. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Christian. We really appreciate that. Welcome back to uh, Park Hoppers. All right, back out in the heat, but somehow I feel cooler now. Maybe it's because you're drinking a frozen coffee? Ah, uh, that would probably have something to do with it. <laughs> All right, three minutes to go for the Macaws. Let's see what happens this time. Let's see. Now I don't see any cast members out at all right now. That's very much the opposite of what we experienced with the uh, 1015 example. Yeah, they like the 1015 there is like at least 3 cast members. This go around, I don't see any so far. So they may have canceled the 1115. I'm like is there any cast members around to ask? Uh, I don't see any. A photo pass. <laughs> a lot of photo pass. They're being smart. Oh, they're the, hanging out in the shade. Yeah, there's some cast members underneath here. You can probably ask them. Where? Right here in the blue. Oh, those are guest relations. You don't? Will they not know? Um, I mean, you're more than welcome to ask, but those aren't your typical cast members for anything to do with animals. Gotcha. Yeah, they just sell tickets, I think. All right, well, let's just stick it out and let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. Oh, there they are. Those are the cast members we want to ask. No, but, no, these are the ones that are going to do the show. But if they are, I guess they are. Yeah. But uh, we could ask them. We could. I mean, if they, from everything, it looks like it's going to happen. Exactly. There's four of them. Uh -huh. All right, guys, everything's looking pretty good so far. You want to get a little closer or you want to send from here? Bring it closer if you'd like. They're not going to their usual spot. I should have asked thing. <laughs> it's alright. We'll they, find out soon enough. They were walking with a the purpose. There's, They're going someplace on purpose right now. The music just uh, got quiet. That's a good sign. Don't forget to shake it a little, because like when it gets uh, frozen on top like that, right, if you don't uh, mix it in, it'll just the flavor will leave. All right, I see a cast member with a large, large stick. Yep. Hey, here. All right, so two out of the four have large sticks. Mm -hmm. I understand. I just need you to follow where we are. Here we go. Okay, here, I'm going to give it to you. Give me one second, okay? Nobody over here. Sit there. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't know if I had to give it to you. Hi, Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Hi
Here we go, guys. Enjoy! 
enjoy the rest of your adventures here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. So guys, that is Winged Encounters. That's the name of this uh, experience that occurs several times throughout the day, uh, 15 minutes after the hour, 9.15, 10.15, 11.15, 1.15, and 2.15, I believe is the last showing. And it occurs as long as the birds want to uh, be a part of it. Yeah, they let them uh, roam freely, so that's really amazing. Emmett's just chilling up there. Hey, Emmett. That's Emmett, right? There. Yeah, that's Emmett. So pretty. Really, really beautiful. He's like, that's it? No more treats? Not, not for another hour? <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. I think the pigeon wants to be a part of this show as well. You might have to take Emmett um, to the back. Unless he's just gonna have to take a selfie with Emmett. No, oh, Emmett, gone. no! <laughs> Emmett, Emmett heard me. Emmett's like, I don't want to take selfies. You didn't pay me for that. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Christian. Uh, you were asking a question whether or not it was worth it to do Fantasmic. Self here real quick. Yep. Where did they come from? Oh, well, I'll take a selfie in just a moment. Yeah. You were, <laughs> Bye, thank you. You were asking whether or not it was worth it to do Fantasmic, uh, which is at 9.15, uh, because you have an after hours ticket, and that would infringe upon some of your after hours time. Uh, if you've never seen Fantasmic, then absolutely. Thank but uh, if you have an opportunity to see Fantasmic again in the future, then it's probably better to take advantage of all the uh, opportunities that the After Hours event uh, can provide you. Uh, the free snacks, the free uh, and shorter rides, things like that uh, would definitely be a big part of it. Um, but if it's your first time that you've ever seen Fantasmic, it's a thought. But even then, if you have an opportunity to see it again in the future, anytime uh, soon, it is probably better to take advantage of the experience that uh, you paid for with the After Hours event. But of course, everything is up to personal preference and what you prioritize and what you really want to enjoy the most. Exactly. You may find that by 9.15 tonight, you want to sit down and just enjoy your show rather than uh, ride a ride or have a snack or something, and that's totally understandable. So. Fantasmic is there, it is an opportunity, it is an option, so. Uh, and do keep in mind though that Fantasmic sometimes uh, will not show um, as many other outdoor nighttime spectaculars due to weather conditions. Right. Always keep that in mind during your trip. All right, guys. RDM says we got 200 likes. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, everybody. I want to go see if the otters are like active. Oh, okay. If we can pop in there real yeah, quick. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Well, they're actively walking. There's one swimming back in the back back there. Are you waking up and being active and playing? Let's see if they're a bit more active than earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, there they are. Do you see them? 
in the water behind the island. Now they're coming up onto the island. Yep. <gasps> There's like four of them, I think. No, those are We might have a better perspective from over by the catfish. Yeah, let's go that way. All right. Let's see back out here. Okay. And yeah, Sean, almost certainly they'll, uh, as long as they still have merchandise for the 25th anniversary, they'll still be selling it at uh, Christmas time. I would imagine that it would still be here. They're still selling Epcot uh, 40th anniversary merchandise. That's now it's uh, October. Yeah, and there's still 50th merchandise, so. There is still 50th merchandise. I mean, I really think it's still going to be here as well. That's fair. So they're playing on the other side of the island right now. You want, oh, there's one swimming back there. Oh, or we just left. <laughs> well, I was thinking up top over here would be a better perspective. Yeah, let's go check, we gotta check it yeah. out over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I have you hang on to the gimbal for a moment, honey? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me just grab it, there we go. Thank you. Alicia I, says, I love otters. Me too. And not often we get to see them so active and out and about, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, what's everybody talking about it? Tony was asking for something. There's a question and I'm not finding it. What's that? I'm not sure. I'm trying to go and do chat here. Oh, Tony says you lose signal from the bug show under the tree. Oh, that one's called The Bug's Life. Um, we have not done that show yet. Oh, it's supposed to be a Yeah. I call it Bugs Life. <laughs> All right, let's go um, see it from a different perspective. Let's do it. Good. Gotcha. All right. Alright guys, let's head on out of the outer area here. Let's move into an outer area. <laughs> Alrighty. You think from up here it'll be a better view? I think so. Let's check out. Because where they were, we would have been able to see them a little bit better from this. I don't bit. know if they went back to eat like their lunch or breakfast or something. Yeah, I'm not seeing them right now. Oh, yeah, there we go. These guys are just chilling here in the sun. Are they all just there on the other side of the island? There's one in the water over here on the left as well. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, those are the otters chirping. Really? I thought it was birds, but no, it's the otters. <laughs> Making their way back to the right Are now. They going on their way 
to the other island. They're like, ah, we've been busted. They see us. Everyone, quick, move out. There they go. Exactly, Jeff Davis. Otterbots, roll out. <laughs> Good morning, John. Good morning, Andrew. Oh, no, Chrissy, Jen, we haven't. Um, of course you can, Corey. You could always ask. Uh, we haven't been to uh, Tough to be a Bug Show just yet. Not just yet. Now it is underneath a uh, reused oil rig, essentially. So I'm not sure what kind of signal uh, we'd get in there, but. Oh, Andrew is asking if we were at 5K yet. We're oh, almost, gotcha. we're almost there. Yeah, we are about 60 subscribers away now, guys. Yeah, <laughs> Christian's like, I hear this a 5K sub party all day small world challenge, uh-oh. We were thinking for when we hit 5K, like something like fun. We're, we're not sure what yet, but something <laughs> to celebrate for sure. But we're almost at 5K, guys. We are almost at 5K. Oh, there's a trash over there coming past by over there. Sounds good to me. Oh, thank you so much, Chrissy Jane. I don't know. All I know is what you want to go through, um, yeah, the tree life garden? Next up, we need to head towards the train as soon as we're done with the Tree of Life Garden because... Oh yeah, we do have to go to the train. Good morning, Erica. Hey, Jen. Hey, Erica. Hey, Jen. Um, welcome back, Megan. Welcome yeah, back, Megan. we do have to go catch that train. Do you want to catch the train first, then? Yeah, let's do the train first. Okay. Hey, Jane. Well, thank you so much. Good morning, Jane. Oh no, Jonathan says, back cave it, all day Peter Pan, oh. Oh goodness. We're not sure quite yet what we're gonna do to celebrate 5K, but we'll definitely celebrate in some uh, some fashion. We are at almost 5,000 subscribers, guys. Thanks so much for all the support you guys have given us. Thank we you, We appreciate guys. it so very much. All day Peter Pan uh, would pretty much be, uh... <laughs> That would have to be named something like Line Simulator. Oh? Huh? Well, it's only with the head of the kiosk. It's uh, just more pizza. That's pretty cool. But different and looked uh, different from the one at uh, Pizza Party. True. Good morning, the West Wing. Good morning, West Wing. All right. Good morning, Colin. And there's the sun. <laughs> yeah. It's an extra toasty one at the moment. Oh, this is like one of the best views for Everest in our opinion. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. The Forbidden Mountain, Everest. It'd be really awesome if somebody calls us flew by. <laughs> <Right. laughs> 
Sean Stoltz, 15, says just finished my train, but Tron boarding group is only at 37 to 42. Yeah, it'll be a few more hours before your time, but... Yeah, just uh, if you have the app and everything, it'll alert you when your boarding group is called. That's true. Hey, Kurt. Absolutely. We are, uh, we're happy that we're able to do an early morning stream with you guys. And very soon, it's going to be an afternoon stream. <laughs> time is flying. Storms up there in Georgia today. We'll be safe up there. Jeff Davis says, speaking of Everest, I heard a recent ride record of 12 was set on Everest. That seems tremendously easy to beat, actually, Jeff. <laughs> hey, Pablo. Unless you're suggesting that you went on Everest for 12 times there, Jeff. Well, it depends um, if it was on, like, single rider, the regular standard cute, like, lightning lane. A lot of factors come into play with those, uh, kind of thing. That is true. All right. Oh, another car copy tip. Always check here on this sign. You'll see Kilimanjaro Safaris will be open until 7 p.m. That does change quite often, guys. It does. If you're interested in the safari when you come to Animal Kingdom, keep that in mind because times do differ. And they do not always match up with what the park's hours are. So even though the park does close at 7 p.m. today and uh, the safari closes at 7 p.m. today, there will be times that the safari will close at 6 or 6.15 or 5.45. Like, always keep an eye on that sign. Keep an eye on the sign over by the safari itself as well. And if you're ever just confused about what time it may be, maybe the time's mismatch or something, who knows, uh, just ask a cast member and they'll, they'll let you know. Good morning, Pablo. Really? That's quite something, Jeff Davis. 12 times on Everest in 4 hours. Oh, okay, so they didn't do like an all-day thing. No, they, yeah. So, yeah, I was like, wait, that seems like a very low number. Right? But it makes sense though. Oh. Alright guys, we are making our way towards Rafiki's Planet Watch. This is another one that closes quite early. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the attractions involving animals will close early, so keep an eye out for the trail times, the, uh, the train times, the safari yeah. times. Yeah. No, you're fine. I was just gonna say really quickly if you wanted to show the Timon and Pumbaa on your left hand side. Oh, That's yeah. a really cool souvenir. That is really cool. There's a Timon sipper and a Pumbaa sipper. I think the Pumba is a popcorn bucket. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Gotcha. So it's a Timon uh, sipper and a Pumba bucket or er, popcorn bucket. It's a Timon sipper and a Pumba popcorn bucket. Yep. I understood. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's make our way to Rafiki's. All right, guys. Let's head towards the Wildlife Express. I guess this is both the entrance and the exit? I guess so. Now we have never been on the uh, Wildlife Express. Oh, looks like they're loading right now. Let's try to catch a train. Gotcha. Which way would you like to go? Wherever it's empty. Okay. Let's see. Wheelchair, right this way, wheelchair. Wheelchair, 
All right, guys. Now, I know it's a silly request, but I do wish they had air conditioning on this train. <laughs> hey, James J.B. Basson. Hey, J.B. Basson. I'm not sure why they don't have air conditioning, or a fan at least, on the trains. Uh, there's nothing on the one in Magic Kingdom either, though. Is there not? But it's more open. This one is half closed. That is true. It's different. <laughs> Awesome, James. I'm so excited <laughs> to see. Um, I mean, last time I remember being on here, you see animals and stuff. Yeah. James says his daughter's birthday, her third birthday, is today, and he was just talking to her about the train. <gasps> oh my goodness. Happy third birthday to your daughter. Oh my goodness. I remember her. She was so sweet. Mark Mardu wants to know is the train half open or half closed? Well, just to ruin that entirely Mike it's about 80% open like the the window area isn't the full wall here so it's uh, I mean the window does go all the way around though so uh, closer to like greetings friends and welcome aboard the wildlife express for a safe journey remember the station keeping your hands arms feet and legs inside the train 20 percent open it seems to be good 20 to 40 percent open I don't know be sure to watch your children. Aside. Bienvenidos a bordo del Wildlife Express. Para que tengan un viaje seguro, manténganse sentados con las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Siéntense hasta atrás, pegados al respaldo de la banca. Y por favor, vigilen a los niños. Gracias. The Wildlife Express with service to Rafiki's Planet One. Indicated animals like goats, sheep, and more. Through sneak peeks at animal care and action at our veterinary, nutrition, and science centers. All safaris be sure to check out the animation experience at Conservation Station, where you can learn to draw your favorite Disney characters inspired by live animals from one of our animators. reaches all the way back to Walt Disney himself and his long-standing passion for conservation. He believed it was important that we protect our wildlife and preserve our natural world. This sense of motivation shaped his legacy from animation to conservation to the very adventures we offer here at Disney's Animal Kingdom each and every day. As we make our way to Rafiki's Planet Watch, keep an eye out for some of the exciting wildlife we might encounter along the way, and the highly trained specialists who care for them. From ostriches and rhinos to the mighty African elephant, the species we care for here at Disney's Animal Kingdom are some of the very same animals that inspired animated classics like The Lion King, The Jungle Book, and more.
Alright guys. Welcome to the conservation station everyone. That was pretty cool, huh? That was pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, we got to see a white rhino and we got to see the um, African elephant as well. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Time to explore a little bit before we head into there. We'll get a good spot for it. It's Rafiki. Are we were we lagging a little? Oh, we are. could be an issue. I think we're back. Are you showing? Yeah, I'm showing like very little signal right now. Let's uh, see what happens here. <laughs> All right, we're starting to regain some signal here. Marty M says back. Thank you, everybody. Awesome. Right, thank you, guys. Good to know that there is very little to no signal over there by the uh, train station. We're supposed to go to the right. Oh, yeah, we probably have to come out of the yeah. Mm hmm. All right, perfect signal again. Oh, gotcha. Rafiki tried to take the symbol, uh, the signal exactly, James. Seems that way. A little bit of a hike back here. That looks pretty. Little channel back there. Well, the thriller says park hoppers is the lack of source wrecks in some areas. That is true. Look at the bird feeder right up there. Very cool. Yeah, it says wild bird crossing. All right. This is a pretty long trail to get to the uh, conservation area. It sure is. And here we are, everybody. Conservation Station. Yeah, guys, this is the first time we've ever been back here, so it's bound to happen. This is the affection section back here. This is essentially the petting zoo. And there's goats. Yeah, they, um, they really pet the goats. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat experience. It is. <laughs> so it does look like the affection section is still very much up and running. Pretty cool. Back in here, looks like a lamb as well. Oh, well, they've got, uh, in case you get hungry or thirsty back here, it looks like they've got a couple of vending machines. They've got Dasani, Smart Water, Powerade, 
Powerade monsters. There's like right. two different Coca -Cola, variations. Coca Cola lemonade. Need stuff in there. Good variety. Yeah. Even diapers kits out here. Diapers and wipes for the babies. That's pretty cool. That is cool. And then they've got those uh, portable charger fuel rods out here too. Very cool. Handy. Hey, Jalissa. Handy to know all that's available out here. That's a B. That's a B? It was a B. Did, it pass? Did I pass it? I think we passed it, yeah. Okay. Alright. Let's head into the conservation station. Inside feels so nice. Yes, it does. Alright, so this is the location where you do the animation experience, and like there's a bunch of other cool stuff to see. Yeah. So, yeah, the animation experience is right back there. The next one of those is at 12 15, everybody. Yeah. We intend to be a part of that. Um, I don't know if there's already a line that's formed back there. Oh no, they're just, uh, they're already seating, uh, because oh, no, there's no. one happening. Yeah, the last one's still finishing up, but I, I just meant like back there, I wasn't sure oh, if people we'll were... we'll get there when we do. Yeah. Well, for now, we'll just uh, explore everything there is to see here. Okay. <laughs> Megan G's like, my goodness, how have I not been back here? Yeah, this is back here, guys. It's a little bit further than, you know, it's not a, like a super well-known thing, I guess. It's pretty cool. It is. So there's a gorilla training diet, which involves grapes and strawberries. Looks like, is that kiwi in there? Some blueberries. That's an awesome training diet. I, I am all for that training diet. <laughs> there's also gorilla lettuce. It looks like bib lettuce, like uh, butter lettuce there. And then what's the vegetables in the variety? Uh, the gorilla produce diet. Produce diet. Yeah. You got peppers, carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes, celery, broccoli, a bunch of good stuff. Gorillas eat well. Hey, Ailey. Thank you guys so much for being here with us here at Animal Kingdom. We're having an awesome time. And this is the conservation center. It is. This is what you um, get to experience after you take the, uh, the train. It's called Rafiki's Planet Watch. And Marty M's like, animals are well fed. They certainly are. Oh, there's going to be a creature in the next uh, viewing room. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, most of the creatures in here are this reptiles and scorpions a, and things like that. Yeah, this is a Puerto Rican boa, guys. So it's a boa constructor you'll find in uh, the jungles in Puerto Rico. I don't see his head, though. It's on the other side of the branch. Looks like he's taking a nap. Pretty neat. Oh. What's over here? Blue Death Fainting Beetle. Oh, blue Death Fainting Beetle? Where is it? I think he's hiding underneath one of the uh, sticks there. And then a giant prickly stick is in here somewhere. Oh, that's a brown and blue spider. Eek. Yeah, these... These two spiders right here are the ones that you have to watch out for in uh, oh, most of the United ball. States. Mm -hmm. And in some right parts of Florida, uh, especially the Panhandle in northern Florida, brown recluse uh, are uh, an issue. Black Widow are all over the state of Florida, though. I didn't see the beetle, though. But like you said, it's probably underneath one of the branches if it's in there. Here's the uh, giant prickly stick. He's uh, on the glass on the other side of the enclosure back there. Almost looks like a mix between a scorpion and a praying mantis. <laughs> Do you see him? It really does. Oh my gosh. The eyes are wild. Are those the eyes that I see from like my perspective right here? Probably. Oh no, because it's see-through. No, those are not eyes. <laughs> That's oh, a... yeah, you were looking at the leaf part. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you, you see his head down here? Where? Oh, with the antenna. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wild. And he's got spikes all over him. That's crazy. That's a giant prickly stick. Huh. Jeff says these insects are really amazing, for sure. Oh, so that's the camera in red there. Hey, Kyle Art. Crazy. Did you see it? Oh, yeah, it's it's oh, a type okay. of tarantula there in the corner. Yeah. And then back there, there's a Brazilian salmon tarantula. Oh. 
Like okay. way back here. See some of his uh, fuzzy legs there. There's a common emperor scorpion in here. This is uh, maybe one of the more frightening <laughs> exhibits here. Where's the scorpion? He's right here in the front right corner, you see? Front right corner. <gasps> oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see it way better on, on your phone, on the camera. <laughs> and then there's a desert hairy scorpion. Where is that guy? Let's oh, see. right see there in the, in the front right. You see him? Mm -hmm. I see it right on the tree. At least it's like, nope. <laughs> Mike Rogers, good morning. Now, I've actually hey, Marcella. Come, I've come across a scorpion like that before. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, Chrissy Jane says, hey there, Mike Rogers. I'm not looking at the screen. <laughs> Sorry, Chrissy Jane. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be moving on to another enclosure soon. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the next one is a giant thorny walking. It's a walking stick. Oh, right oh my gosh, look at the walking stick. Good morning, Kayla. This may not be uh, the greatest way to uh, wake up. Why? Because uh, I, I said good morning right as I zoomed in on the giant oh, walking stick. <laughs> I, I don't know. I find it fascinating. They are fascinating. I love how Animal Kingdom does like all this conservation, taking care of the animals and you know, showing these type of animals to guests who might not normally see these kind of animals on a daily basis, you know? Yeah. Or like ever. There's another walking stick up there in the top as well. Oh, Chris says, I work in pest control and have dealt with a lot of black widow spiders. Oh, yeah. Be safe, Chris. Yeah, uh, especially anytime you're in crawl spaces or anything like that. They like uh, lower spaces. I wasn't sure where you were going. I was skipping this next section for the time being. Over here, there's a California king snake somewhere. You're skipping that to see the king snake? <laughs> well, just because there's a lot of folks looking um, at the. Uh, what is that? What are you. On the glass? On the glass? Is that what's in this enclosure? That. Do you see him? Yes, that's the uh, Henkel's leaf tailed gecko. I have one on the other side. I'm like, do you see that? <laughs> Let's see if I can, uh, because the uh, enclosure is so humid, it's kind of hard to show them, but the glass, is, the glass is a bit dirty as well, yeah. so that doesn't help. Yeah. I was like, what is that, a baby crocodile? <laughs> He's a big guy. So there's supposed to be a uh, snake in here as well? No, I, I'm not sure what that's about. That's, yeah, because I think it's just him in there. Yeah, that's what he is right there, Henkel's yeah. leaf-tailed gecko. Henkel's leaf-tailed gecko. That's who's in here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call him Baby Croc. Oh, this is the uh, desert rosy boa. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> kind of a pretty color. You kind of see it around the um, wood there. Yeah. Doa Dave, good morning. Doa Dave says, ask him about your car insurance. <laughs> A blue tongued skink in here. Oh, there he is. Boyd says, Yay, he sneaks. <laughs> Who's here? Blue tongued oh, skink. skink. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's hiding underneath the rock there. Wild. It's huge. That's the biggest skink I've ever seen. That is very large. Oh, Megan says, I love snakes. Very cool. Chinese crocodile lizard. I see something there. Yeah, there's. And I see another one like camouflaged over there. Yep. Wow. That one's wild. It's kind of like, okay, I'm not like super into like reptiles, but it's kind of adorable. I don't know why. I'm like kind of drawn to it. <laughs> I see him in my first thought is da 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 da. Maybe because he reminds me of a dinosaur. I'm like, that's so cool. It's like a dinosaur. <laughs> Hey, Sai. Hey, Void. Oh, goodness, who else has come in? Goodness, welcome in, everybody. Thank you for being here. We're getting ready to uh, experience the animation station here at uh, the concert, well, the animation... The animation um, experience. Experience here yeah. at the conservation station. Yes, yeah, so this, guys, is called the Chinese Crocodile Lizard. So crazy, but if you notice, I mean, I assume one's female, one's male, because they're very different in like body types, right? That like one's true. a little bit more spiky and darker, 
and the other one's a bit more smooth. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're both the same gender. I would assume different. So cute though. I don't know why. <laughs> Meanwhile, Christy Jane says, I think I'll move back inside during this running encounter. Oh no, Christy Jane. <laughs> so sorry. Well, yeah, we'll be doing the animation experience very soon, guys. What's next? <gasps> the gecko is like literally on the glass. He's a wow. flat tailed gecko. Flat tailed. Oh my goodness, it's like a huge mini baby crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> Now we get geckos here in Florida, but nothing that size. They're usually much, much, much smaller. Yeah, I don't, I don't normally see those outside. <laughs> <laughs> the next is a skink. Come on. Uh, prince, a prehensile tailed skink. Oh, there's, oh, that's its food, I think. Yeah, that would be its food. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. <laughs> My skin feels a little crawly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see this. Oh, there he is. He's inside of the log there. Yeah, I was gonna say probably inside the log. Let's see. Can't really show him. He's just hiding there in the darkness pretty well. He's just relaxing. Yeah. Let's see what's next. Oh, a green and black poison dart frog. Oh, that sounds interesting. Uh, is it back there on the left? Oh, the tree just, the branch is Yeah, I, he's underneath that little... Oh, oh, it's right here. It's right here. You oh, see, yeah, there's, there's a few. There's there a couple. A oh, this is interesting. They have some good color to them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Adrian. Oh, he hopped. Oh, yes, it, it hopped. Oh, it's hopping. It's a hopping. It's a really interesting pattern, though. Like, yeah. Did you see the one that's like right here as well? Yep. Yeah, guys. Those are um, poison, though, right? Oh, very much so. Oh if you ever gosh. see a frog that looks really pretty, don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> the prettier, the more poison? Exactly. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Melanie. Hey, Adrian. Good to see you guys. Hey, Melanie. Down here is a European fire salamander. What a yes, name. Yes, it's very poisonous. Are the salamanders down here? There's supposed to be a European fire salamander in there somewhere. Fire, so is it kind of reddish? Um, I'm not seeing them. I assume it may be on the other side of the tank. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Let's keep on moving. Ooh, all right. Hey, Canada Mike. Hey, Canada Mike. Over here, we've got a bug eyed frog somewhere. A what? A bug eyed frog. Oh, bug eyed frog. I would think behind most frog. Thank you. That rock is behind you. Oh, yeah, we spent the Thank you so time. much. Oh. Where? Oh, there's a white one down there. Just behind this rock. Just behind this rock. Oh, yeah, white one. Gotcha. Oh, yes. You can, you see, you can see the eyes. Like, okay, if you come where I am and go down a little, mm -hmm. like on the rock, you can see his eyes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? Are we hungry? Because y'all are whining. Where are the yellow He blends in really well. Do you see the white ones? The cage directly above it are the yellow ones. Marty says, be right back. Sounds good. Sounds good, Marty. Hey, Jim. All right, the next one is a Puerto Rican crested toad. Interesting. They're doing some animal stuff. Oh, are they? Let's go check, see what uh, kind of uh, animal they're working with right now. Rescue. Oh, I don't think they're, they're not doing anything right now in the lab. Gotcha. But it's pretty cool to see the lab, It is. So this is the veterinary station for a lot of the animals here at uh, Animal Kingdom, as well as the station for, uh, yeah, all that good stuff. I have some that have holes in them now. Animals don't care if they're changing. Back there in the back, you've got a veterinary Mickey, it looks like. Pretty awesome. Well, because they're doing the wilderness explorer thing, is what they're doing. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> it's not even here, it's another truck. Pretty cool to see like, the equipment they use to like scan the animals and like do the operations and everything. Yeah, and the uh, Animal Kingdom uh, show on Disney Plus, we actually saw them take a manatee in here. Yeah. From uh, the Seas Pavilion in Epcot. Christian Seas says, I wonder if a dino egg will hatch. Oops, wrong park. Life? Uh, we'll find a way, Christian. 
That's true. All right, this is the science center. So this is uh, some cast members working on stuff. It looks like it's kind of uh, where they're maintaining uh, their observation of the animals and the uh, work that they're doing with the animals. So that's really cool. Maybe doing some training in here as well. Attention animators, in just 10 minutes, you're invited this to take part in the animation experience. The animation right here experience. at Conservation Station, where you'll learn to draw one of your favorite characters with the help of one of our very own Disney artists. Get ready, the animation experience takes place under the atrium in just 10 minutes. Am I going the wrong way? Everybody's yeah. coming in here though. Oh, okay, so that way goes Okay. So I think maybe you have to like walk around. Gotcha. Maybe. It's not super clear. No. <laughs> it says exit only is this. So maybe the entrance is this way? Maybe. Maybe. So guys, we're going to be, oh yeah, there's the line there. We're going to be uh, drawing one of... Right back here. What's that? There you go. How many camera lenses do you need on your camera? I see five. There are five on that one. There's three on this one. There's three on hers. Why do you need five? Well, maybe you want to zoom quality. in. Just you can you can have it in uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, one times, three times, <laughs> two times. I think there's a ten times, which also Super digitally zoom. zooms to twenty times. I'm so. Sorry, I asked. Regular zoom, <laughs> minimal zoom. Wow. We can uh, we can let's see here. Uh, let's just take these lights up here. Okay, take those lights, and we'll just give it a good zoom here. Uh -huh. And that's uh, that's the extent we can get on this particular wow. app, but it does get twice close. as uh, close as this as well. Yeah. So uh, there are yeah. things that I can't read that I can zoom in on with this, and wow. I can read it then. So. Cool. Yeah. All right. We're gonna Let's attempt go. to draw. Sorry, I asked. No, you're good. <laughs> Be happy to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, sir. Paper, pencil, and... Did you see the green tree python? I did not. Yeah. Oh, he's okay, really pretty. Not. She's that's really pretty. And her head is the other side, unfortunately. Oh, you're we have good. To go to the other side. I wonder but, if it gets, there's a window but did you on the other side. But did you see Midnight? Oh, we can't see. Did we see did Midnight? We didn't see Midnight. No. Oh, there's your head. She's a, she's a very, very sweet snake. She's an Argentine boa. Wow. Yeah. She's about 10 feet long. You can tell from that head that she's uh, got some <laughs> yes, length on her. Take paper and put it in the Wow. She's just chilling. That's Normally she's got she's all stretched out over here and showing off her size and whatnot. Looks like she's uh she's filling up that log pretty well right now. <laughs> yeah, she moves around. She doesn't seem like she's very mobile, but she does. I she's very, very sweet. She's one of our ambassador snakes. They bring her out every now and then to when they weigh her they bring her out to people who can pet her. Really? Wow. <laughs> she's about 10, 15 years old. It's more impressive when you see the whole thing. <laughs> well, she's very pretty. She's having a good night right now. She is. All right, let's go draw. Yeah, Thank good. you so much, sir. You hear it? Let me stop. Let's go this way. Yep. One for you. Thank you. One for me. So, what do you guys think we're going to be drawing today? And then I'll get us a pencil. You get your own pencil? I got it. You got it? Thank you. Thank you. So welcome to the animation experience, everybody. Two. Thank you.
You good? Thank you. Get your board and everything situated. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, oh, yeah. so I'm gonna put the board in your lap. Okay. No, you want to clip the paper to it or you just want it loose? Uh, let's clip the paper. Oh, no, you're getting it on the uh, it's getting clipped. Uh, oh, there, there you go. Thank you. Oh well, the thriller is thinking we're gonna want to, we're gonna draw Eeyore. Okay, Eeyore! Oh my gosh, I'm, I would be so excited. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna put you down like this. So what we're gonna draw is gonna be up there on the screen. Once you're committed to a line. That's pretty cool. I've never done the animation experience before. Right. If you guys want to draw along with us, by all means. Let's see how this goes. And uh, when we're done, we'll of course show you guys our finished product. Unless we are too embarrassed to show you. <laughs> uh, we might be too embarrassed to show you. But we'll show it probably regardless. <laughs> And guys, if you want at home, get paper, get pencil, get pen, whatever you want to draw along if you wish to. Absolutely. So we had some guesses. We saw Baymax says Joey G. Jim Dempsey says the Cheshire Cat. Will the Thriller says Eeyore. And Kalar says you'd be surprised at how good your drawing will be. Huh? We'll see how this goes. Jeff Davis says, I can't draw a stick people correctly. I can only imagine how bad it would be at this song, Jeff. So the experience should begin in about one minute, everybody. That's exciting. Right? Oh no, my battery's low. You know why? Because it's been so hot outside. It has been so hot. I, that really like drains the battery quickly. Yeah, I'm gonna try unplugging and plugging back in the phone again because it's no longer charging. Welcome, friends, to the animation experience at Conservation Station. Since the 1930s, Disney animators have put their pencils to paper in service of the idea that the greatest inspiration often comes from the magic of nature. Walt Disney himself understood the importance of spending time around animals, studying their behavior and personalities in order to create realistic characters and dynamic storylines. This meeting of the human and animal worlds sparked a legacy of storytelling that has shaped our relationship with animals and conservation forever. Today, we invite you to become a part of that legacy as our own Disney artists help you learn to sketch characters inspired by the very animals found here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Get your pencils ready because here comes our animation artist now. Good afternoon. How's everybody doing today? Is everybody having fun? So great to see everybody. And thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for your time. My name is Heather. We're going to be drawing Hopper today from Box of the Hounds. So y'all ready? He's the hound, of course. Equation. <laughs> so everybody has seen Box of the Hound. It is a classic Disney animated movie. came out in the 80s, so about 40 years ago, roughly. Or so, so a little bit ago. Um, before we came in, though, I'd like to make sure we get our materials and all that stuff before we get started. So we got paper and pencil at the little table before you came in. Clipboards were found at your seat. So if you don't mind, at the end of the class, placing them back on the back of the seat so they'll be ready for our next class. It's just like they were ready for you. Um, so we appreciate that, your fellow guests. And then we'll appreciate that too. Uh, another quick little thing too. So if you're missing anything, obviously raise your hand. We'll be sure to get you whatever you're missing. Crayons, color sheets too as well included. Um, we are going to be exiting out to the right-hand side of the theater today at the end of the class. 
You're going to follow the lovely legacy of animation. There's those photos over there. That's kind of who they are. We'll go into that more later on. But um, another thing before we get started, too, we like to draw from life. And it's very important to kind of do that so you can tell those stories that you want to tell in the film. And maybe as when you're creating the character, you're filling out. Uh, those muscles in there and knowing how the character moves a little bit better by drawing from life. Um, I would love to bring in a bunch of puppies and I think we would all love that too, right? <laughs> It'd be awesome. I don't have any. We only have like, like security dogs and then of course uh, working dogs um, around the parks right now. So, we can't bring them in. <laughs> so I get you inspired by baby animals. Does that sound cool? Yeah. yeah. All right. Here's our inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> a baby meerkat is a playful kit. A little seahorse is a floating fry. A beetle, a wiggly grub. When you think of a hatchling, you may think of something like this. But since a hatchling comes from an egg, it can also be a reptile, amphibian, or fish. When you hear colt, you may think that is a baby zebra named. Strangely enough, it can also be a chick of a crowned crane. And if that's not confusing enough, this short, stocky rhino is a calf. And so is the six foot tall baby giraffe. Luckily, these two, called piglets, look similar, both with pivoty snouts. The baby warthogs excitedly running tails in the air and baby red river hogs wallowing without a care. Whether they come as one or as many, covered with fur, scales, skin or feathers are plenty. Whatever you call them, no matter the name, we will care for each of them deeply, just the same. We'll get you the right ones. Um, we kind of show you with the guidelines too. You want to make sure you keep the character on model, but also it's there to kind of help us with you know eyes and everything when you're drawing up the character. Vertical guideline down the middle at the face. It's usually about where the middle, uh, where your nose is, kind of if you split it in half. Your eyes usually fit in between a couple of horizontal lines, so roughly in that area. So that's when you're drawing out the character, you see the blue line sketches are kind of like that um, before they get into all the, the nice, you know, pretty artwork up there. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do before we get started, I'm going to give you a little starting point about halfway. It's just easy to find the halfway point between the vertical guidelines, side of the circle. Let's do the left side first. And then, as you can see, we're in this together. We got a nice little point on one end, otherwise it'd be pointless and we'll have that. But <laughs> this one right here, if you notice, doesn't really do a whole lot, right? So when you're animating, you don't have time to really do that. So we pass that on to a cleanup artist. So we're going to pretend we're animating here on the film, even though it was done 40 years ago. Um, <laughs> I'm going to curl it a little bit underneath that guideline. And then we're going to go ahead and very, very lightly, light till we feel it's right. And then we'll add a little more graphite later on. But basically, just drawing this curve right into the side of the oval. You want to think of Everest and think of that man's big roller coaster. If you feel like you need to do some sound effects just to make it more fun, at least, feel going to do that too as well. And again, once you light the line, I'm going to ring on it, but just go ahead and make it a darker line on top of it or right beside it. And this is going to be uh, part of the little fold over it in the side. Now underneath that, you're going to start kind of out, give a little awning right there, something about there. Now we're going to curve it down like you're going to draw kind of almost like a little parenthesis kind of line. And you can see, you can do a couple little sketchy lines right there. And added some extra lines in there kind of adds a little extra movement through your drawing. So when I go in there and darken it in, which I'll show you in just a second as I bring it around and bring it right where I left off, I'm going to choose the line. I'm going to go 
right there on that line instead. Make that a little bit darker. And then let all those lines kind of fade through so it just kind of acts like there's a little bit of movement to it as well. Which dolls can actually see more movement than clear objects. If you have a squirrel like, just sitting right there, right, he probably wouldn't be able to see it. As soon as that squirrel goes that way, it's going to go squirrel, right? Because <laughs> I dug. Oh, so they can see more of that movement too, of course. So. All right, so we've got a little curve right underneath the, it's like the area around the size there. So a little curve right there for his little cheeks. Now it kind of looks like a little birdie sitting on the tree there. But he needs a friend right now. Maybe a happy little friend. If you watch Bob Ross, you know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> to a vertical guideline, right side of the circle. With a little mark. And then we're going to go ahead and slide down this stretch. And again, just like we did here, we're going to go very, very light. You can think of Everest to go wee. Or you can think, you know what? It's hot outside. You're thinking of blizzard beans, right? Don't they have little water slides over there? Maybe you're just pretending like you're going on a water slide. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> and then we're going to go over here on the inside there. And we're going to go ahead and curve this down too. Just kind of give him a little tummy. Give the little birdie a tummy too as well. And then we're going to bring this down and then right into that little corner there. So now they can tweet each other if they want to. It's a little darker in areas. Because I like to kind of, you know, clean up your lines. That's what, you know, clean up ours. <laughs> and clean them up in between ours. We kind of come in there and kind of fix them up too as well. Good films. Now for the top part of your eyes. So where is that going to be? Good question. The first guideline, the side of that circle there. You're going to come over to the inside. So you can just kind of make a little mark roughly right about there on the inside. Or if you need to draw in a whole line. Feel free to do that too as well, if you need. If you're on the right side, just take the side of the circle with that horizontal line, bring that in a little bit there. Now we're just gonna draw in an oval kind of shape or round shape. So it's really easy to do that. And if you've ever like made something in the kitchen, stirred soup, mac and cheese, if you, or brownie mix even, right? You can try to get around the edges so you don't have all that little clump stuff. <laughs> and before you lift the bowl, um, so what you're doing, and we'll go above my papers to kind of show you that I'm actually using my shoulder to kind of stir something so above my paper too as well. This way so you can kind of see. Start out with the letter C at first if you want to for a copper. And then you just bring it around to meet the top. And again, I'm just staying as loose as possible there. Keep it nice and light. Then we'll do the same thing over here. Just start with the letter C if you need to kind of slow that roll and that shoulder there. Still kind of nice and messy there. <laughs> They're all excited out there. Um, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and darken in our top part of our eyes. A little bit uh, darker there. Kind of give them a nice little eyelid. You can see some color. And then we're going to go ahead and darken in those, uh, the rest of those eyes there. So we kind of get a little more um, crisper on that line too as well. Oh, uh, Fox and the Hound is based off of a 1967 novel. Some of you might have read it. Um, and this is also a, a great transitional film. Oh, no, a little curve underneath the eye too for his little cheeks over here. Let's draw this in there. And then, of course, his pupils, what you're going to do is go ahead and add in kind of like a peanut M&M uh, shape uh, oval here. So I'm just going to go ahead and sketch that out. And the smaller it is, it might be a little bit easier to kind of create this oval. And again, if it's easier to go faster, I feel like it is because you're just more natural to kind of go faster when you're stirring something. And then you just go ahead and kind of make that a little bit darker around there. And we'll go over here on the right side and just kind of add in a nice little oval over here. We'll go ahead and put that in there. Now we need a little natural light reflected off into his eyes, right? So that's the kind of the next step. And I'm going to place that natural light, let's say on the right side. And then you can choose the left side if you want to choose the left side. And all I do is just shade in around that highlight. 
you can kind of shade it around that little highlight there. It's, this is a very quick shading. If you want to come back to this at another time, you can certainly uh, do that too as well. You don't have to um, shade that. The pencils go home with you, so like, hey, that helps you out with timing. You don't always, when you're doing a quick sketch, you don't have to shade in every single area, so feel free to kind of have some of those little white gaps in there too. And you'll see that too with some of the drawings around the room. Tiago um, and Thumper in here in the middle. So let's go ahead, um, I like to give him just a nice little shade too around his eyes, kind of make that a little bit darker around his eyes. I just take the side of my pencil. Let's kind of run that through there if you want to do that now anyway. We'll kind of keep, keep moving on um, to add in the next features there. So for his nose, his nose is going to be about where the bottom of that circle is. And dogs have an incredible sense of smell, especially hound dogs, right? But we know that they have more on the higher end of that spectrum there. So it's like 230,000 times greater than that, that, that as humans, right? So that is a, a larger olfactory center receptor there. We're going to go right here by the bottom of that circle. What's really cool, if you're making something in the kitchen, they know every single ingredient that you put in to whatever you're making. If you're making pizza, you're making soup, they know everything you put in that soup, whether it's like you know, a little pepper or uh, spices of you know. some kind too as well, besides the obvious. They, they can smell every single thing, which is really good. <laughs> I just saw this little curve right there for his on top of his nose. Now, as I come down, we're going to make this kind of more of a, a, a upside down triangle. Just kind of give it that nice little curve there. A little rounder because he's a nice friendly puppy here. <laughs> at the time in the movie, at this time in the movie, of course. And we'll go ahead and add in a little bit of darker lines right here, too. Now, on top of his nose, it kind of looks like maybe a staple, or you can think of a trapezoid if you're into geometry, maybe. Uh, so I'm just going to go a little bit above that line, and we're going to come down over on the left and over on the right there. And it kind of also looks like a little famous uh, logo that we don't own yet. But <laughs> uh, you want to put like a letter inside there, maybe? <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're going to actually just go to shade that in there <laughs> instead. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and add in his uh, muzzle next. The top of his muzzle is right where that vertical guide line meets the, the line underneath the eyes. And we're going to pull down just right to the left hand side. And it touch the side or bottom of the circle, however you're looking at that. Bring this down to on the right hand side. Now your dimples push up your cheek. So what you're doing is curving it out and pulling it up just a little bit. So you're just kind of pulling up that cheek a little bit. Left side, you're gonna bring this over on the left. Kind of looks like a car to me with that shape. I don't know if you see. I like to find fun shapes so just circles can be a little boring sometimes. So it's like a little car. So as you draw, just to kind of keep it interesting and all that stuff. And I want to continue to draw if you love to draw. And the best way to feed that passion is to draw every day. So whatever you like sometimes uh, also helps. So if you like puppies, draw a bunch of puppies on your paper. Who wouldn't want that, right? No, no, make you feel good when you see a puppy, you pet a puppy, right? Or a dog, right? Makes you feel good. Some of you have dogs at home. Yay! It makes you feel good when you pet them, right? Your little tail's a wagon. Me too. Uh, so it lowers your blood pressure. It lowers the blood pressure of the dog, so it's like a win-win uh, for both, <laughs> which is really cool. So yeah, we got animals out front. You want to pet them. Um, we got little goats and all kinds of fun animals out there. Uh, so right there at the bottom is kind of his upper lip. It kind of looks like a, um, a little mountain right there. We can climb every mountain, <laughs> even if it's small, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They go into a valley, but don't worry, we keep looking for that top of that mountain over there. Even when we're in those valleys, we just keep moving forward up to that top of that mountain. And to bring this around and right up into that temple right there, so that makes one half of a W. And then, once we get that in there, we're gonna go over on the left side. We're gonna bring this up on the bottom of the circle. 
Bring it up and bring it right up into that jumbo there. And just get that nice, big, happy smell that he's gonna have. So this is the last film for like the Night Old Men. So if you heard about Walt Disney's Night Old Men, there's two of them on the wall, but there's seven other great ones. One of my favorites was the original director of this film, Roy Reidemann. Also directed Robin Hood too as well. So all time favorite animated movie. Robin Hood, you love Robin Hood <laughs> over there? <laughs> Right there. <laughs> yeah, a couple of little freckles there, or a little whisker spots, but I call them freckles. But, um, so yeah, there's, you know, there's a few over there. We got Mark Davis, and definitely you'll find one that, you know, you might like, yeah, one of the Night Old Men. Um, but this is also a first for a lot of other animators coming in that worked on this film. Is it one guy, one guy in particular that worked on this film? And you might have heard of him, his name is Tim Burton. <laughs> so yeah, he did a lot of dark stuff too, but um, he was let go at the time and then he came back to the company and created this wonderful film, and Merry for Christmas, of course. So, rented by Henry Summit. You got the upper lip here and the, the little blue line down here. I'm gonna go a little bit above it, kind of about halfway-ish. And I'm gonna slide this up into his upper lip. So you're gonna kind of think of a little doggy bowl. Really? Taking the valuable, right? <laughs> and it's hot outside, so we need to give them some nice, um, uh, big dog bowls for water. We'll go over on the left side too as well. We'll pull this up, right up into the upper lip. And I'm going to keep his tongue inside his mouth, so it's going to basically look like a letter M. For Mickey. Oh, oh, uh -huh. <laughs> we'll do the same thing over on the right side. And then we just shade in above that um, tongue here. Yeah, that's more regular moment going to be my birthday. There you go. There's this little mouth there. Now, speaking of that tongue, too, with dogs, um, they don't have that great sense of taste. Like, I mean, that sense of smell we know is great, right? Um, so when I pick up something on the floor, you may be like, hmm, what's that? <laughs> and you're like, mm, I don't think I would pick that up, but it really tastes it very well. Bring in that blue line. We're going to bring this up on the right side over here. Just to the right. We're just going to slide it into the bottom. It slides right on in there. It's nice and easy there. And then we're just going to trace all the way up and into where we left off over there on the right side. Just tracing up that curve. Now we're going to come over here on the left side. And we're going to bring it up over here. Just going to bring it up. Slide it in. Slide it over to the side of the oval there. Make that a little bit darker too as well. Once you sketch it in. Then we can go ahead and add in some, you know what? We need a little more emotion, right? And have you seen a dog or an animal? Do you think you, have you found any eyebrows in any animals? Probably not, right? <laughs> so uh, that's why you see a lot in films. If you go back to that classic uh, scene where they're like looking in the mirror, making faces and stuff like that, we emote a lot with our eyebrows. So we're going to use that. We're going to use our uh, human characteristics here. And uh, that's what we're going to lead into next. And we're going to add a little bit of a wrinkle. So I just draw an L on the side. We're gonna slide into the circle just a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is stay a little bit above that guideline and angle it up just a little bit too as well. Angle it up and then bring it down and into that vertical guideline. And you can start to see a little more uh, expression there within the character. We wanna keep them happy. Dogs are so happy, so sweet. We go over the right side of the vertical guideline. They're very smart. They sense when you, you may be down or anything. And, might need a little lift up, you know, like, hey, I'll come near you, come pet me, make you feel good, you know. <laughs> bring this over here on the right side. We're going to bring this down on the, on the side of the circle. And we're just going to bring this over and into the top of that cheek next. You learn more on, on Disney Plus. There's a great series called It's a Dog's Life, too. I'll tell you about some really cool things about dogs are doing to help and help the environment. I did a few little wrinkles right here on top of the eyebrow. So, um, so basically for this next part, I'm just going to draw like a little curve that's kind of in the middle of a smiley face. 
And then we're gonna come down, we're gonna hit the side of the eyebrow. So we're still kind of staying maybe about halfway between his eyebrow, on top of that circle there. And bring it up. Does anybody know any other famous Disney hounds that are out there? Lady and the Tramp. Lady and the Tramp, there is one, and they're trusty, of course. Do you trust them? <laughs> There's one that's more than famous. Gordo! Yeah, that's probably our most famous sound dog. Really cute. And you've probably seen them while you're on vacation. <laughs> so, yeah. And then we're going to go ahead and add in uh, from that first guideline, I'm going to bring it up, top of that circle. And we're going to slide into the shape right here. We're going to draw another little curve right there, coming up and back around your body. Same the soul of your people. If you feel like you need to. A little uh, brain bump right there on top of his head. Because again, we talked about dogs being very smart. They can sense things and everything. They know they know moods, you know, and all that stuff. You need a little extra chair. You know? <laughs> now, um, so our next step, we're missing something very important for a dog. Ears, yeah. And different breeds of dogs have different kind of ears. Some point up, some point down a little bit. Some all to and fro. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you where they kind of hook up here first. I'm going to zoom out right underneath this guideline. I'm going to draw kind of like a number seven at first or a hook or whatever you like, <laughs> pretty much. And then over on the right side, it starts just a little bit above that first guideline. So that way we kind of know where we're headed. This one's going to kind of slide out with his head and then slide down a little bit. So it's going to slide down. Again, the side's going to slide down just a little bit. Now I'm going to start to zoom out for just a second here so we can see how far we're going down there. Right, so we'll go out for just a second. And we'll go down. And we got um, those little, little lines at the bottom there. So. So you see these tiny, oops, let me get them all in there for you. <laughs> all right, so this little blue line right here is what we can see. Make sure everybody can see that. We still see the top of the head okay, right? And then what I'm going to do, we're going to slide this down. Well, if you want to draw very light, because I know it's a long way down there. You can think of that roller coaster if you need to. Um, so feel free to kind of stay loose. You can put a couple sketchy lines there if you need to. Um, so kind of really get the, the grasp of that ear. I'm going to bring it out a little bit too. And we're going to go ahead and come down to that blue line too. Because they have to use their ears to kind of help them smell a little bit. Um, I think kind of like when you're in the kitchen, you're, maybe you're a chef out there too as well. And you want to kind of bring that smell closer to your nose, right? That's kind of how they use their ears. They kind of bring it closer to their, to their nose. And bring this up a little bit. So we kind of angle it up like a letter B. And we're going to bring this right back up into kind of his little cheek there. Right where it starts to curve up. So we're going to get that nice little fold that he's got. Get it kind of floppy. Now you can go right beside the lines too. So hey, you don't like that line. You go right beside it and make a new line. Make that a little bit darker. And again, I just like to, I like to really use my shoulder a lot too. So it's just, it just makes it a little easier on your hands, your wrists, and everything too as well later on. Make it a little bit darker. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of the inside of the ear there. On the inside, just kind of pull that in and torn. The other side. And then we're going to come over on the right side. And we're going to go ahead and slide down. And bring it toward the Animal Kingdom logo. So this time we're going to go to the Animal Kingdom logo because that's where you're at, right? Yay! And you can see some of our painted dolls, wild African dogs, uh, here at Animal Kingdom. So if you're like, hey, you want to see, maybe, maybe see those, you know? Or obviously you'll see some maybe some fairy dogs or service dogs here in the park too as well that are working. We'll bring this down and into that blue line. Um, that dog in the window over there, that's Frank Thomas. He is one of the nail men once again. Um, and actually, that is the model for Tramp. So they were walking around the neighborhood one day. I'm gonna do a few little wrinkles over here on the side. Just add one, just kind of curve going toward the side. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a curve going up here at the top. So it actually kind of traveling to the top if you're looking at it that way. 
can make that a little bit darker because guess what? We can shade that in if we want to. So yeah, they were, you know, for Lady and the Tramp, they were like, okay, we need we need to find a dog for a model, right? Yeah. So I found this particular one over there just roaming around the neighborhood. And then they went back to try to, it's like the dog for the model for Tramp. We had to try to find that very dog. Couldn't find that dog. So, okay, we'll just go to the pound and see if we can find another dog that was similar for the tramp. And they found that very dog. Ours are like taking the little walk and rescued her. So, yes, that's a she over there. And she got to live out the rest of her days behind Magic Kingdom. So, yes, you can make a difference um, in her. The lives of these dogs, giving them their forever home, their forever home to buy Magic Kingdom for that particular dog. For yours, it may be your household. And remember, each household is going to be different. Each uh, breed of dog requires its own special instructions, kind of like um, whether, you know, if you live in a small place, bigger dog may not be for you. Uh, also, you know, maybe certain breeds of dogs. Um, may call some allergies to us also kind of just know maybe your allergies too like i know i can't have cats <laughs> because i'm allergic to cats uh, but you know just things like that just to make sure you do your research before you get um whatever dog is right or your, or whatever pet you know it could be a dog it could be a cat if you like cats out there and um yeah, the love on you, and it just, it just makes it all happy <laughs> all the way around. He has some little wrinkles for his little throat, if you want to kind of finish him up with some little wrinkles there. And I love telling that old story there. And then how we feeling out there, that pretty good? Because we have a dog on our paper. <laughs> that was supposed to be a little that did turn out that way. Um, so we need an autograph on our paper, right? That means you need to autograph your own artwork, of course. These are very special drawings. Be proud of it. Be proud of yourself because you created it. You attempted it. And as long as you try, that's the best thing you can ever do, right? And um, of course, we date it so you know how you track your progress over time. You went back over time. It is uh, 6 14, I believe, 2023, of course. And um, yeah, even female animators worked on this film too. Reddit Davidson is another great um, job, artist to kind of look at. Um, she actually loved the animation part of the uh, animation group of 10 women in the very, very beginning, back in like the 40s to, to be able to be trained. Only three got yeah. to past that and she was one of them and she became um, also a teacher of animation mm -hmm. from Canada mm -hmm. and also out of the Disney Studios, worked on a lot of these kind of films too, but also mm -hmm. made people laugh. And I love that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's kind of a hope another inspiring story for you too as well. These look amazing, these need to go in the refrigerators at home, galleries at home, of course. That's also the only thing I didn't mention earlier, so if you want to keep them, feel free. If you do not want them, there is a pencil basket out here on the uh, right side of the room as you exit out. Uh, so feel free to recycle those if you want. But most of all, y'all continue to have a wonderful day here at Animal Kingdom. Bye everybody, have a good one. Thank you all for joining us at the Animation Experience at Conservation nice Station. There, out of time, Please so gather your personal belongings before <laughs> exiting and remember to uh, take your own so We hope you fun. enjoy the rest they, of your visit at Rafiki's Planet Lodge. And the rest of your adventure here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. No, yeah. How's everybody? Is everybody drawn as well? I think everybody... Yeah, we'll see in a second here. Yeah, We're fi I'm finishing up some shading here. I was like, wait, what happened at the end? We were going so slow, then we went so fast. <laughs> Alright, guys. We are going to have to figure out... Mm -hmm. How do get out of here in a second also? Um, yeah, I, I got nowhere near... I'm like finishing up some really quick shading. Don't show yours, uh, we'll show them both at the same time. Okay. And then everybody could be like, who's who's, you know? Oh, yours? Oh, well, I already signed mine. Oh, you signed yours? Yeah. Oh. I followed her instructions. Really? Somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to give up. It was I know, very it's difficult. Like, it was very slow at first, right? And then like at the end, it's like, hurry, and I'm like, ah! 
the most difficult part of it was uh, I had the, uh, the gimbal, gimbal? Yeah. over top of uh, the, the was, sketch pad and you were filming while you were drawing too. I was too. trying to film but then I gave up when she started going too fast. I was like, oh no, I'm getting way behind. <laughs> what do we put our name? Yep, your name and uh, the year. What year are we in, guys? Well, I, I did 61423. 614? 23. All right. I like how much uh, you uh, darkened your lines. Yeah, that's what I was working on. I was like, this is, I don't know, this is different from how I draw. I'm like, I have no time. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, oh no. This is so, yeah, this is like very, very different from the way I typically draw. Monica did great. I Jeff, think you did better. Monica's is going to go on the fridge, if anything. No, I think yours did better. Did you show yours already? I have not shown mine. Guy, how many of you guys did a drawing as well on, at home? Oh, I haven't seen Chad. I've been too busy shaking in my ears. Oh Your my goodness, died. my phone died. Oh, a lot of things happened. All right, awesome. Your phone died? <laughs> yeah. I was like, <laughs> the heat. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's put this away. we got to get going. We do. In my okay. Here. Sounds good. Oh, yours came out lovely. All right, we got to return our pencils. Yes. We'll keep the paper. You got the drawings? Yeah. Let's okay. Keep the drawings. Then we got to put the board back on yep. the seat. All right. Now we can start to stand up. There okay. we go. The uh, logistics of this is a little bit more difficult than we expected. <laughs> the logistics behind all this is a little bit more difficult than. Uh, CNM Custom Science is in the house and they said, I ate my pencil. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright. Thank you again, Mike. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, we, yes, the five lens camera. <laughs> what were you saying about your drawing? We got to come back a few times in order to make yeah, this a little bit better. Yeah, this is our first time here. We got We got more well, practice to you do. Gotta come back again. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. Well, thank you guys. Yeah, great conversation about this five lens camera. Oh, nice. Is the camera needs five lenses on it? Mm -hmm. And I asked the question, and then he proceeded to explain to me why he needed five lenses. You know, I'm just sad it doesn't zooms, have six you know? or seven. <laughs> If it had eight, it would uh, blend in with some friends we have over here and some tanks over, you know? Well, that's true. I don't think they can see as good as those. <laughs> that's true. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a great day. See you next time. That was so much fun, guys. All right. Thank you, too. Thank you, man. Yeah, guys, if you want to send us your uh, your pictures on Instagram, we might be able to see them that way. Oh, and then we can repost them, too, if you guys oh, yeah. want to tag us. That would be fun. Yeah, yeah, if you want to post it on Instagram and send us the uh, the link. Yeah, all they got to do is tag us and then we can see it. And then we can repost. Okay. That would oh, be where fun. Where would you like to show the drawings? Oh, yeah. Maybe somewhere with good lighting. There's a surface over there. There's oh, actually, you know what? By Behind. The oh. By the elephant? Oh, I was just thinking there's a much larger empty space right here. Right here. Oh, Marty M, thank you so much for linking our Instagram, guys. If you want to follow us on there and post your drawings, tag us, and then we can repost them. Yeah. All right, so we're going to reveal our drawings. Actually, let's uh, point the camera up and let's put them side by side so that when I pan down, we see them both at the yeah. same time. Oh, well, you want to see them both at the same time? I think so. What do you think? However, you want to do it. I thought side right. by side would be better. Well, that's what I was thinking was side oh, by like side. This. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. There we go. Okay. You All right, ready? guys, we're about to do the big reveal. Here we go, guys. Here. I was going to say, if you don't show our names, maybe they can guess who's the who's. Oh, it's impossible not to show our names, though. So, guys, these are the. Uh, these are our drawings. These are our. Uh, our our hounds. Our hounds. <laughs> By the time I was like, what's up with the necklines? I was like, oh no. <laughs> I gotta hurry. Kyle R says, those are great. Justin says, awesome. Let's see here. Holly says, Rafiki Pocahontas and Jiminy Cricket used to be back then. Me too. Yeah, now Holly, they do it on, um, they have the characters on the flotillas. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Kayla. Thanks, Jerry G. Thanks, Holly. 
<laughs> Thanks, Edwin. Here's Lily. Marty M says, wow, they're both good. Thanks, Marty. Alicia says, they came out amazing. Kristen says, Eric, for the win. Both good. Kayla says, I'm sorry, Monica. Eric, totally get it, guys. No way. You guys don't see the wonky, the, the poor hound's right eye? No, I mean, I think they're both awesome. I saw her eyes, and I'm like, oh, she did <laughs> me. <laughs> Zari says, nice job. Jenny says, awesome. Oh, you guys, we don't... Uh, Amanda says they look great. Thank you, guys. Kate says the drawings look great. Way better than how mine would have turned out. Andy says, wow, well, looks great. Chrissy Dane says they are super. Let's see. I don't want to miss any comments. Uh, I agree, Joji. Your, uh, Monica's head wrinkles are perfectly realistic. <laughs> CNM Custom Sign says, great work. Gonna, Mike says, wow, that's great. Mine looks like Pluto. <laughs> Pluto would be fun to draw. Jenna Evans says, I love them. Chris S says, thumbs up. Art Vader says, amazing. Mary says, the drawings look great. Oh, yeah, thank you, Joey G. <laughs> Edwin is says, Monica's is better for sure, but they are both very good. Thank you so much, guys. And Kayla's like, both are great. Anyway, Shoshana says, love them both. Kay Bray says, I love them. Chris says, Eric's, except for Hedrick goes. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a little bit, got a little bit of Mojo Jojo brain going on over oh, there. Oh, maybe. A little too round. Chris La Martina says, uh, Eric, except for Hedrick. Oh, yeah, I just read that one. Will the Thriller says, Park Hopper is great for your first time drawing. Thank you, Will. Yeah, it was very different. Like, I love drawing, but this was definitely a different uh, type of drawing than I've ever done. So, oh, Color says it doesn't allow me to tag you on Instagram. Oh, maybe, do you follow us? We keep getting tagged by spam, so I think that's oh, been turned off. Oh, no, I thought I turned it back on. I don't think so. So, oh, uh, just send us the, the images. No, us. no, we get tagged. I just received some tags earlier. Okay. Um, did you try to, if you go to mentions, when you go to post uh, your story, go to mentions and then put park hoppers and then let me know if it works. All right, let me take a look at settings. Sapphire Boy says, love them. I'm just saying because I got some stories earlier today. Amy says, y'all did great. Thank you, guys. Andrew says, great, adorable drawings. <laughs> Where am I? Let's see here. Great souvenir. Yeah, exactly. At Winter Snow. These are wonderful souvenirs. Jalissa says it looks amazing, guys. Alright. Uh, Marcella says Park Poppers are both great for first timers. Uh, Zori, this is the Hound from Fox and the Hound. Tink for Life Jones says you guys did great. Let's see. Cooper from Fox and the Hound. Yes. Thank you, Holly. Now, they've changed the settings a lot recently because I don't even know where to go anymore. That's true. Oh, yeah, they do have the animation school over in uh, Disneyland, Andrew. That's for sure. Yeah. I, I see hidden Mickey ears because says Christian. That's awesome. Marcella says, Quick Hoppers, your drawings are both refrigerator worthy. Thank you. Let's see. CNM says, Love the Mickey Mouse for the eye. Nice touch. You put a Mickey Mouse? I'm not seeing the Mickey. Wait, wait. Oh, for your for the eye and your name. Oh yeah, I always do that. <laughs> Just have it. Sorry. Um, let me see here. Thank you, Mary. But yeah, we really want to see you guys like what your uh, uh, your drawings came out like. If you guys uh, joined us for the animation experience. Uh, hey, Felix. I have no idea where to go for that. What do you mean? Uh, oh, I uh, was just showing you because like, you see how we got some mentions earlier here? Yes, but uh, in a post or in a story? It was a story. Okay, but uh, they're trying to do a post. Oh, I don't know about posts. Exactly. I only know about stories. Right. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know how the uh, how that works exactly. I was trying to get into the, uh, in the settings to see whether or not that was turned on or off, but they changed the settings entirely because uh, Meta's... Making it much more their own. You went to settings? I did. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Oh, it wasn't letting me scroll. Right here, tags. Allow tags uh, from people that follow you. Yeah. No, so from people we follow. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's allow tags from everyone then. Okay. There yeah, so then any, anybody who wants to tag us, um, we're going to go ahead and open that up for you guys. And do you want to allow mentions as well then? Um, yeah, why not? Because that's the story thing. Okay, so yeah. Okay. If you guys want to do a post or a story, we've now enabled it so you guys can tag us. That way, once you post your art, you, we can repost it. Yeah. Yeah, and we can see it and share it. That's so cool. Thank Absolutely. you guys for, yeah. 
And guys, if you're just coming in or if you just came in uh, during that uh, animation session there, guys, we're the Park Hoppers. We're Monica and Eric. We go live in the parks all the time now. We're here at Animal Kingdom today. It's been a nice, relaxing, and interesting day. We still have a safari to do today. Oh yeah, safari. And uh, you know, we had a coffee earlier. We took the train over here. On the way back, we might hit a little bit of lag getting over to the train uh, at the train station and such. But uh, we should uh, be able to make it back to the park, no problem, uh, to the bolt of the park uh, yeah. without an issue. Um, so thank you so much for doing that animation session with us, guys. <laughs> if you're new here. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along with us again in the future. We're getting very close to uh, 5,000 subscribers, yeah, guys. Yeah, so close to 5,000, guys. Thank you. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well. Both things are entirely free to do, and uh, they are um, just things that help us out tremendously. So thank you so much, yes. guys. Uh, and guys, once again, if you did participate in the animation experience with us and want to share your artwork with us, we have opened it up. So you could either do a post or a story and uh, click on the mention button, tag us uh, so that we can see it and then we can uh, share it out as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's get our... Let's get our drawings. Souvenirs. <laughs> our souvenirs. Do you I'm want to... Are they too big for my bag? Um, I think we might have to fold them up. Okay, do you want to Yeah, fold let me fold them up here. All right. Right, and then a final look at the drawings. Okay. This is this one. This one's mine. Mm -hmm. That's mine. That's Eric's. <laughs> that was really fun though. That was our first time doing the uh, animation experience class. That was. Yeah, it just takes a little bit to get back here. That's it all. Does. And it was very fast. You have to it was so fast. Quickly. Yeah. At the, at the beginning, it was like slow and steady, and I'm like, oh, okay, we got this. And then uh, with all the shading and the lions, and it get, it just got really fast, really quickly. It did. Yeah, but it was really fun. So thank you guys for joining us for that. Thank you. We're gonna head outside. Yeah. You uh, ready to head back towards the train? Yeah. Let me just uh, fold these up. Okay. Fox and the Hound was Holly's first movie that she saw in theaters. Apparently, she no can't way. watch it now. It makes her cry. Aww. Let's uh, let's unplug the phone because the gimbal's starting to die now. I'm gonna put this in your backpack. Okay. Because your backpack fits everything. You guys are curious about Eric's backpack? It's in the details down below. <laughs> that is true. All right, let's get this plugged in here. Cool. All right, gimbal's charging. Phone is no longer charging, but we're at fifty-four percent, so we should be good for a couple more hours. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's turn around and let's go, guys. Uh, did, oh, chat stopped on my end. Chat stopped on So end? before we go... We're going to do a quick refresh. A quick refresh, everybody. So bear with us just a moment. We're going to uh, restart the app, and we'll be right back, everybody. And we're back. Or we can't should sit be. on the table. Oh, so we got to help. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Interesting. No worries. We are on our way. Here we go, guys. And we're back. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Let's go. Hey, Rich J. Rich J says, mine turned out all right. That's awesome. That is awesome. And uh, I think how R was saying it works. So we're going to check on uh, Instagram to see if we can see any of them. And guys, once again, if you want to post them on a story or on a post and tag us on Instagram so we can see them and share them, that'd be awesome. That would be. All right, guys. I think I would only see it as a, on a story, though, right? You'll see it both ways. Oh. Okay. Yep. Okay. It'll notify us uh, in either, either case. Okay. Um, Maybe my app just hasn't loaded. Gotcha. Well, we're about to get... We have not great signal out here. <laughs> That's yeah, okay. We're about to hit some uh, really rough area up here, guys, so bear with us. Uh, once we get back on the train and start moving again, we'll be, uh, we'll be back to perfect signal, so... We'll just take a minute here while we're on this path back to the train. I think we still are keeping pretty well right now, though. Disney Squirrel. Christy Chain says, Laggy monsters shall attack. The hats will eradicate them eventually. <laughs> yeah. 
Good afternoon, Montalongo. Hey, Montalongo. Photo, <laughs> mommy. Mommy, photo. Oh, that so was really cool that we getting back there and seeing all the things they have and like the lab and the surgery rooms and all that. That was really cool. And if this we saw so I'm not sure. <laughs> with us. We'll see how it goes around the corner here. The train is gone. As is our signal. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't even see Tyler yet. Alright, starting to climb back up a little bit here. That's fair. It's all the same poster, though, I think. I'm gonna show the elephants here. Okay, we'll show the elephants. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tyler Green. Cute elephants. Let's see if we can get signal back now. Stand over there. Oh no, we lost the one? Yep. Where do you from when you were um, sitting there? Yeah, it'll show it, but it's going to be... Oh, gotcha. Yeah. There we go. Better signal over here for some reason. Hopefully, maybe try under a fan, see if underneath the fan we're good. You can certainly hear the train. And we're losing it again. Oh, maybe the fans are not a uh, <laughs> And we've got it back again. <laughs> All right, fans of the Trans Vehicle Island Express Bound, we're on base station. We'll be arriving shortly. At this time, please pull up any strollers, pass with me, so assistance and their parties will be aboard a train for a small letter reporting. Please do not assist you on the iron gates in front of you in caps will open for you when it's time to board the train. If any finds back in the back room, by the elevator. <laughs> oh, but we lost signal again. So strange. <sighs> and just a moment, guys. We'll be boarding the train and heading back towards Animal Kingdom. Not to say that we're not in Animal Kingdom right now, but like the bulk of the park. Shield 666 says crunch time. I'll be we'll be arriving in a week from today. That's awesome guys. That is awesome.
Hey, Christopher. Good to see you again, Christopher. Oh, it is hot. It is. It is uh, very, very warm. That's true. Hey James, hey Thomas, hey Sapphire. Hey Navy Seals. Boy, they unload and load these trains very quickly. Yeah. And they close up those gates and close up the doors to the train and it's time to go. Very efficient. <laughs> hey Beaker and Honeydew, good to see you guys. Hey Beaker, hey Honeydew. Hope work is going well. We totally understand that you can't tag everybody. You're on a quick break, we get that. Uh, thank you for dropping in. Greetings, friends, and welcome aboard the Wildlife Express. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Rafiki's Pony Watch. We are now beginning our return trip to the African town of Harambe. For your safety, please remain seated and keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. Sit all the way back against the bench, and please be sure to watch your children. Alice. Bienvenidos. Comenzamos ahora nuestro viaje de regreso a la aldea africana de Arama. Para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Siéntense hasta atrás pegados al respaldo de la banca. Y por favor, vigilen a los niños. Gracias. Stay safe, Thomas. Hey, Epcot. Greetings, friends, and welcome aboard the Wildlife Express. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Rafiki's Planet Watch. We are now beginning our return trip to the African town of Harambe. For your safety, please remain seated and keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. Sit all the way back against the bed. Be sure to watch your children.
signal is getting wild again? Huh? Sure. Sure. was saying it looks like the signal is getting wild again. And remember, preserving the magic of nature begins with you. Asante. earbuds while playing golf and it is hot. Well, stay nice. cool and enjoy golf. Thank you so much, Dave. Hey, David. Hey, Estefania. Thank you, everybody, for letting us know that we are back. You guys will be making our way. That is a very fast train ride. Absolutely, Zork. We'll be making our way towards the uh, Kilimanjaro safaris, I think. Yeah, time yeah. for the safari. And of course, once we get out on the safari, there may be times that we lag as well. So just in case, guys, as you know, uh, anytime that we lag, check your live indicator. Make sure that it is red. If it is gray, if it shows live in gray words, uh, go ahead and either refresh or tap that live uh, word and it should turn red should bring you back to a live status so that you're back here with us hey patchy hey patchy Right. I still feel like we're wobbling a little bit. Oh no, is the safari down? No. I sure hope not. Oh no, it's not down. No? Okay. It's a 65 minute standby wait. All right, well. 45, okay, cool. It just changed down to 45 minutes. That's awesome, Sean. You're gonna love Tron. Enjoy it. I know. Kifaru. Hippo. Kiboko. Shida. Tumba. Ostrich. Mbuni. Oh, it's... Bird. Yeah, we're not going anywhere anytime fast. Is this uh, Fraser Crane's brother? I think so. There's a few Fraser Cranes in there. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. Alright. Going into the safari booking office. Oh, at least it's 
that's not the extended extended queue. Yep, this will be a pretty long wait. Oh, this is gonna be a super long wait. We are in the extended part of the queue for the safari. Emma, where did you come from? Six. I'm over here. That's why we took one today. Name the number four. Oh, we took a lot of water. Oh. But you got here before? Yeah, we're waiting right there. Name the number four. Plymouth Rock says the animal's lunch break, I guess. <laughs> hey Mike. <laughs> hey Kevin, Coda. Great to see you guys. <laughs> we are gonna inch forward here in a moment. I see the line up ahead moving forward. I think this whole like group is together, so yeah. Go behind them. Gotcha. Mad to the bone. Good to see you, sir. Huh? Mad hey, to the bone. Mad to the bone. Yeah, Pachi, this is the extended uh, queue for the safari. It's, I've seen it much longer. We've, we've been in the line much longer than this before. Yeah, we've, we've been in the extended, extended queue, which oh, yeah. goes this way and comes back. In That's order like to come the this way. extremely extended queue. <laughs> yeah, it, it continues around quite a ways. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty solid half an hour wait. I hope. Hopefully, that, that hopefully was. no more. The downside, of course, to this queue is there is no air conditioning. <laughs> but the good side to it is that there are occasional fans. Which oh, that is true. Do give a nice breeze. Honey, can I have you go in the bag and get a Gatorade? Thank you. Does that sound good? That uh, looks good. Thank you. What are you going to say? Yep. Yeah, no, I, I yeah, no, we've definitely been in the line uh, much, much longer than this. And it, it tends to move really well, not to jinx anything. Um, but they tend to load up the safari um, trucks and get everybody going really good. But, um, Hopefully we move. <laughs> Sean says, does anybody suggest anything from the Tron gift shop? Well, it all depends on what kind of souvenirs you're looking for, Sean. Um, they have really cool, I like, there's a light up water bottle that's pretty neat, but it's not dishwasher safe, so uh, that's a no for us. <laughs> they also have really neat shirts and stuff. It just depends on what kind of merchandise you're looking for. Yeah. I personally like, uh, there's a Tron pen that has like the ear. Uh, a pen? Yeah. Yeah. That's a really cool commemorative thing to hang on to and be able to look back on and be like, yeah, I wrote that. <laughs> That's that true. Year. That's fair. Hey, JJ Mickey. Hey, JJ Mickey. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Christian says, get a light cycle. Well, that would be one heck of a souvenir. Right? Oh, Bobby, my girl says, annual pass pin, hashtag jinx. <laughs> yeah, the pins are pretty cool. They have a few different uh, variations of them. Oh, Chrissy Jane says, I'm going to be listening for a bit. No typing. All good. Thank you so much, Chrissy Jane. Thank you, Chrissy Jane. Thank you. Joey G says, I too have skipped purchasing things that were not dishwasher safe. <laughs> yeah, we keep that in mind. Um, especially when we show merch, we're like, 
this is dishwasher safe. This is not dishwasher safe. Exactly. I mean, I would say some things have surprised us. Uh, I, I've seen a few mugs and I'm like, surely this isn't dishwasher safe. And then it was. And I was like, oh, very cool. More times than not, I think uh, I've seen mugs and stuff and I've been like, oh, that's really cool. And then, oh, no. <laughs> It's definitely a factor. Also, sometimes uh, they're not for hot liquid either, which is strange to me for a mug because usually you want that for hot tea or hot coffee or something like that. Oh, we're back in the regular queue. That went by fast. Yeah. You will visit anywhere. Our mission is to conserve and protect the small part of the great savannas of Africa and the forest to share it with you. Today, Dream and Dialog Safaris will take you on a journey into the heart of the river. Jumbo, everyone, and welcome to Kilimanjaro Safaris. In order to keep your wait time to a minimum, we ask that you please keep your group together. Good afternoon, keep Sarah. The party in front of you and fill in all of be safe up there in states. Georgia, guys. We hear it there's a lot of uh, bad weather up in that direction, so be safe up there. It's just a very hot day here today in Orlando. If you are traveling with someone in a scooter or wheelchair, Please have this person lead your... Marty M, I'm glad you asked, sir. So guys, on June 24th at 9 a.m., uh, Monica and I are going to be doing the Park Hoppers version of the Mountain Challenge. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Mountain Challenge is, that used to be uh, that within a day you would ride uh, Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, and Splash Mountain. Now, Splash Mountain is no more. It's no longer uh, an option, so... We uh, have changed it up a little bit, added a park hopper twist, and now it, we are going to be riding Seven Doors Mine Train, Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, and park hopping over here to Animal Kingdom to ride Expedition Everest. So, we'll be doing that at 9 a.m. on June 24th, the Park Hoppers Mountain Challenge. Sounds good, Kirstie Jane. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day if we don't catch you later. Thank you, Christy J. This can also make photography difficult, so you may want to just take your pictures when your traffic is moving slowly or stopped. Mine's moving pretty well now. Here's a Fraser Kane again. Chef Davis says, Will the Mountain Challenge involve drinking Mountain Dew? <laughs> oh, no, I, I don't think we're brave enough for that one. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Hey, Jumbo Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Sarah was uh, saying that she's really glad that she's seeing so much sun here in Florida because it's up in Georgia. They're getting really rough weather. Oh, no. Be safe, Sarah. Marty, and thank you so much for dropping the link to the Mountain Challenge. We really appreciate that. Guys, if at any point you're bored in the day or just haven't done it yet, uh, please consider going over there to that Mountain Challenge link, hitting that like button for us. Uh, it really does help us out tremendously. Also, welcome in everybody. We are the Park Hoppers. We're Monica and Eric. We go live from the parks all the time now, guys. If you have not done so yet, please consider subscribing. We'd love to be able to bring you guys along with us again in the future. We're getting very close to 5,000 subscribers. And uh, we would love to be able to celebrate that with all of you. Once we hit 5,000, we're going to uh, be setting up a four parks in one day challenge of some sort for us. It's going to be fun. It we're will gonna, be fun. Yeah, we're, we're going to set something up that's fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, Yorkshire, Simon. And so, uh, yeah, so if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, guys. Also, if you haven't, please hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that as well. And if you're anywhere where there's uh, some inclement weather of any sort, guys, please be safe. Uh -huh. 
Sarah says, I'll do my best. Just tornado warnings all around. Tornadoes pretty much terrify me. Totally get that, Sarah, for sure. Yeah, just uh, be safe. Keep an eye on the news. Keep an eye on emergency uh, weather services, all those things that really help out immensely. Um, just be safe, guys. Absolutely. Let's see. Uh, hey, Disney Kim. Hey, Kit. Great to see you. Good to see you guys. Thanks for being here. Oh, Marty M put a link for the mountain challenge. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much, Marty. Pat, she says, well, ladies, with you, Eric. A little joking. No book it out today. Oh, no. These are, these are, these are our safari hats. Uh, every time we come to Animal Kingdom, uh, unless we completely forget, uh, we always wear our safari hats, and they are Disney. They're that Mickey is true. I thought you were showing my Mickey, but you were trying to show your well, Mickey? We, we, both, we showed both our Mickey. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure it came out. Kim Carey, welcome in. KK says you're early today. We are hey, early Ken. today. Yeah, we were here. We've been here since the morning. Uh, 9 a.m. I think so. Something around that time. Very early. Yeah. But I mean, we wanted to enjoy a lot of the things that Kim has to offer, and in order to do so, you kind of need an early start. You do. So we've had these hats since. Uh, Summer of last year, I want to say? Uh, yeah, summer of last year, probably. We got them here at Disney World. I think we got them yeah. out of the Emporium, too. I can't remember where we got them. Somewhere. We haven't seen them in probably nine or ten months. It's been a while. It is not necessary to form a single-file line. Thank you, Tracy. If you are traveling with a stroller, please have children and animals unloaded. I wonder what, how many animals we're going to see. Oh, Joey says, are they dishwasher safe? <laughs> um, no, they are not dishwasher safe. They are perfectly dishwasher safe once. He could dishwasher his if he wants, but I want to keep mine for next Animal Kingdom, for the uh, next Animal Kingdom journey, so. Hey, Nicholas. Hey, Nicholas. Nicholas says, hey guys, thanks for making the workday a little bit more magical, keeping you guys in my headphones all day. Well, thank you so much, Thank Nicholas. you very much. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everyone was okay and uh, safe in that situation. The biggest thing is to make sure that everyone's safe because possessions can always be replaced. People can. Yeah, and just uh, it's always important to keep an ear and an eye out on the news and your weather services and just know what's going on in your surroundings and being as safe as possible as possible. Absolutely. Shannon says, "I'm back." My boss kept calling me over to the office. And I forgot I was at work. I hate it when work gets in the way. <laughs> Sorry about that, Shannon. Sorry, Shannon. Hang in there. Oh, thank you so much, Marianne. Oh, wow. Sarah says everyone was safe. There are things just all around the area, like a mile away. Wow. Yeah, that's the most important thing, that everyone's safe and, you know, doing well. Yeah. Hey, Scott Adams. What's up, guys? Happy update. Shame you won't see a camel on the safari. That is very true. That is a shame. Oh, but I guess I... I don't know. Yeah, you wouldn't see a camel out there. No. So, yeah. We are in Harambe, everybody. Harambe Animal Kingdom. <laughs> we are almost to the point where uh, Lightning Lane and Standby and Me which is going to help a lot because anytime that we stop, it's because there's lightning lane happening. Uh, because they load and unload these trucks very quickly. Yeah, typically. I hope, oh my goodness, the last times we've been on the safaris, I hope it's not like that. The last few times we've been on the safaris, they've gone so fast. They have. We can't hear what they're saying, we can't see the animals, and then our backs are killing us at the end. And that's been like, what, the last three times? Yeah. It's been uh, quite unfortunate. <laughs> judging by the uh, pace of the line, I'm assuming they're really cramming the trucks also. Well, I mean, putting a lot of folks in the truck is like, I get that, but I hope that they're doing the safaris, like, you know, taking their time, yeah. speaking where you can understand you them. Said, yeah. I hope we could see some animals, you know? Duckles, hey, we are in line for the Kilimanjaro safaris here at Animal Kingdom. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to turn you back around. Oh, you show the trucks here. Yeah, 
Oh, well, they are using a lot of the trucks. There's not very many parks there. Oh no, those are those. those that's, where, that's where it keeps going. That's usually where a lot of them are are parked for the day when oh, we ride. Is that where they're parked? I thought that's mm -hmm. where they just uh, keep moving through. Oh, I've never seen them move down there. I thought okay. so. Well, that's who possible. Knows? <laughs> All right, so that's going to be the car seat. <laughs> Marty, I'm so true. <laughs> Watch out for driver Taylor. All right. Right on now, both sides. All right. We're already to the loading area, everybody. We're no longer on the line, we can follow the middle. But they said left and right side. Yeah, it's just you can go left or right. Well, we can't go in the middle. Right. <laughs> do, you need, huh? do you need anything? No. no? Okay. Is there a trash can for you? Uh, there usually is. Okay. If I head over there. Gotcha. So if you take this for a second, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll finish this off. Yeah. 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 Huh? No, I don't like that figure. But thank you. Hey, Puffin Breeze. Uh, Puffin Breeze says, did your mountain challenge list include Mount Mayday or something else on the what side? I'm not sure what those what that ride may be, Puffin Breeze. I'm sorry. It's uh, not in Disney. Oh, not in Disney. Yeah, all the mountain uh, rides we're going to be doing will be at Disney World, guys. Oh, there's something behind my arm flying. Oh, okay. I just. Okay. <laughs> I'll agree the gaming time. Do you have a preference of left or right? I don't. Do you? on this safari. Oh, thank you, Alex. It would be cool, though. It but yeah, be. they're just animals that you would typically see in Harambe. Yeah. Oh, well, Harambe is the, uh, the made-up port here. Oh, I thought Harambe was somewhere in Africa. I don't think so. No? It might be. Well, my confusion. <laughs> Okay, so Harambe is a fictional East African village in Disney's Animal Kingdom. Go figure. Shannon <laughs> says, oh, I just realized we're going on a safari hunt. So what rifle are you using, Our Arizona Eric? Oh, no, Arizona Eric. says Mount May I thought Mount Mayday was the one at Typhoon Lagoon. Not oh. sure. Maybe. Good question. 
But yeah, we won't be doing any uh, water parks. We don't live stream at water parks. No. Uh, we were at Typhoon Lagoon recently for the DVC Moonlight Magic event, and we actually put out a vlog about that recently, which was really fun. Absolutely. Oh yeah, Mayday Falls it is located at Typhoon Lagoon. Oh, very cool. Is that one of the ones we didn't? It's recommend? a it's a one person inner tuber inner tube rapids ride. Yeah, no, we didn't do that one. We did the roller coaster one and then like uh, the other one. Mm -hmm. So tricky. We want the back, right? If possible. Indiana Jones' little brother, Arizona Air. Oh, that's hilarious. I like that, Shannon. Thank you so much. You said to wait over here, right? Yep. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking the same thing. What happened? That cast member has an amazing bullet. Oh yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> So in uh, in Hello Kitty World, yeah, uh, there is like an evil-looking cute female character. Okay. It's like black and pink and white face. Where is this comment that you're referring to? The uh, driver, the driver of this particular truck has it as a uh, lounge fly in the seat next to her. <laughs> they have a lounge fly? Yeah, of a uh, of a Hello Kitty character. <laughs> The brain, the brain. That one, yeah. Are you talking about Karomi? Karomi, yeah. But she just has her lounge fly next to her? Yeah. Maybe they're allowed to have their personal belongings um, in the vehicle with them. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Rain Butler. Just dropping in to say you got in mind at 1.15, so less than 30 minutes. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And Thank hello, Lynn Butler. Happy Wednesday. Hey, Fantasy Island. Hey, Pop. Great. Let's see anybody else in here. Oh, there we go. Uh, All right, guys. Are you all ready for the safari? I'm in, I hope we see the lions. We don't see the lions lately. I don't know if we're going to see them today either. <laughs> I don't know, it's midday. Will this be our safari? This will be our safari. Alright, hey Gans and oh, Melissa. Nope. That's nope, the one that's the next one, right. We got the next safari truck. Exactly. Alright guys, fingers crossed that it doesn't go 100 miles per hour this time and that we could hear the safari person talking. <laughs> Here comes our safari truck. I'm pretty sure we'll at least see the elephants and the giraffes. Yeah. Although we didn't have signal in the elephant area last time, so we'll see. <laughs> oh my gosh, last time I got stung. Remember? Yeah, by a fly like that. No, it was like 10 times a 10. Right, but I'm just saying like... 
Alright guys, here we go. Alright, I think this is going to be our safari. Maybe not because it's the uh... Well, you think it's going to go... Well, I mean, it would make sense to load us here. Well, yes, but this is the uh, handicap vehicle. Oh, is it? It is. So he may be moving up to where they need a handicap. No, yep. he doesn't need a good safari driver. <laughs> I was excited. I was like, for once, we're going to have a good safari driver. Oh, maybe he's good too. Yeah. Fingers crossed, guys. Yes, Marion. Fingers crossed for that too. All right, guys. Here we go. Here, Bunny. Now my friends, if you are seated on that right side, please watch your hands, arms, feet, and legs. Doors are closing. As we say here in the Harambe, we do say twin day, which is we like for let's go. Now, Jumbo, everyone, my name is Chris, and I will be your safari guide as we explore the Harambe Wildlife Preserve together. Now, if you take a look up above your head, you'll see an animal spotting guide. We're not going to see every animal on there, though. But I've got a good feeling that we're going to have some good luck out there. Hey. Now, just as a last note, though, this is a real truck, and I am a real human driving this truck. These are also real animals in their natural habitat that we are about to see. So it is important, my friends, for your safety to please stay seated and keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the truck at all times. Now this is a photo safari, my friends, so if you do happen to have a camera or a phone with a camera, I'd encourage you to take that out and put that into a sport or action setting as the animals won't stop for every picture opportunity. And I'm not able to stop for every animal, but I'll do the best I can. We're going to be heading on in to the Atari Forest and thus begin our two-week safari, my friends. I do hope uh, you all have plenty of time off from work, otherwise you may get in trouble. We do have here on the right, my friends, this is the Okapi. Now though it's the striped pants on the Okapi may look like a zebra, but it's actually not related to the zebra at all. They're actually the second cousin of the giraffe. You can tell by looking at the shape of their skull. It is very similar to that of the giraffe. Back up in this area is usually where the rhino is. It's the black rhino. I don't see him right now. Let's see here. So it looks like he's not there right now. Here it is. Keep our eyes peeled on the left and right side, my friends. You never know when or where you'll see an animal. Like, for instance, I see over here on the right, we've got those gray antelope, which are the greater kudu. They're the second tallest of the antelope species on our reserve, standing about 55 inches tall. And those reddish antelope with horns in the back are the bongos. Now the bongo is nicknamed the ghost of the forest, and that's because of how reclusive they are. Now these birds that we have over here, my friends, are the saddle-billed stork. On the left-hand side, that is. They can stand up to about 5 feet tall. Their wingspan is also rather long and it stretches up to about nine feet long. So about the same size as the canopy above your heads. Now my friends, we're gonna be heading out of the Itari Forest and making our way down into the Sophia River.
Now heading down into the Stompy River, I can already see some white birds with gray feathers. These birds are the pink-backed pelican. They get their name from a pink color that shows up on their backs during their mating season. Those birds are also colonial nesters, so that does mean that the male and female sit on the egg together at the same time, which I think is just a little bit romantic. Up and now, here going for a swim on the left, my friends. It looks like we've got ourselves the Nile hippopotamus. Now, I do say going for a swim. They are excellent swimmers, but the hippo does typically prefer to sink down to the bottom of the river and just walk along the bottom. So, uh, the one that's going for a swim is more likely just going for a stroll. Given that they do weigh up to 5,500 pounds, I definitely can't blame them for just wanting to walk instead of swim. The hippo does also have the second strongest bite force in the animal kingdom. That is behind the Nile crocodile, like we have here. Now the crocodile does grow to 20 feet long and roughly 500 pounds. It also has the strongest bite force in the animal kingdom. As his jaws can snap shut with a crushing force up to roughly 2,000 pounds per square inch. <laughs> and now my friends, we're going to be making our way out of the Zafi River and heading up to the Savannah Overlook. So now, my friends, why don't we go ahead and head on down into the Savannah West and see if we can't get a nice and close view of these amazing and incredible animal species. You guys, we tend to lag just a little bit as we enter the Savannah, so bear with us for a moment. We'll get you right back as soon as we're down into the Savannah itself. And here on the right, my friends, we have a famous animal, the Hartman's Mountain Zebra. And actually, it does look like we have there a baby zebra. Now that little baby, she can actually tell her mother from the, apart from the other zebra by looking at the striped pattern on her hindquarters. Now a group of zebra is actually called a dazzle. We have here on the left hand side, my friends, the African wild dog. Those wild dogs are some of the most successful predators on the savanna. They have success rates up to 90%, which they owe to how well they communicate with one another and work together as a pack. Painted dogs? Now we're here on the left, my friends, we do have the sable antelope, which has special significance to the reserve because they are the symbol of Harambe. The sable antelope also has curved backwards horns, which are useful for defense, but also displays of dominance. Now 
but here's another view of that <laughs> adorable baby zebra, my friends. And it also looks like we have here, my friends, uh, the wildebeest, which is a member of the largest migrational herd in the entire world. In fact, each migration of wildebeest can consist of up to roughly 1.5 million wildebeest. And when they migrate, they kick up enough dust, they can be seen from outer space. And I can see over here another one of my favorite animals, my friends. My these guys here on the right, they are another antelope species called the springbok. They're actually fully grown too. They get their name from how they spring into motion. They can jump roughly 13 feet and about six feet into the air. And when they jump, it's not called a hop, a jump, leap, or skip. It's actually called a pronk. Each of those springbok are rather quick when they pronk because they can do so at around 60 miles an hour. We also have here on the left, my friends, the tallest animal on the savanna. The giraffe. It looks like we got ourselves a tower of them. And the giraffe does grow to be roughly 20 feet tall. And when they're born, they're already six feet tall. The female giraffe does give birth standing up. So that does mean that that baby giraffe has roughly a six foot drop to the ground. I would say the first thing that baby feels is gravity. But don't worry friends, that drop actually jump starts the baby's lungs. Uh, passing here on the right, you're going to see the Ancoli cattle back in their little hidey hole, shady spot trees. The Ancoli cattle is also called the Watusi cattle. I told you there's something behind those trees. Now, those horns on their head may look quite heavy, but they're actually rather light. It's because on the inside, they're honeycombed with blood that allows blood to flow through them. And that's what allows them to stay oh, cool elephant. during the heat of the day. And my friends, that does look like we have now found ourselves the African elephant. Now, how can you tell that's the African elephant? Well, there's two ways. The first is, well, we're in Africa. The second is, well, if you look at the shape of their ears, they are shaped a little bit like the continent of Africa. Now the African elephant is the heaviest animal on land, weighing up to 15,000 pounds, so roughly seven and a half tons. They also eat up to about 300 pounds of foliage every single day, so they are rather large eaters. Now my friends, we have entered a flamboyance of greater flamingos. Now, the greater flamingo is the largest and least pink of all flamingo species. You might also notice some of those flamingos are standing on one leg. That's because the leg that is up has gotten too cold and they're trying to warm it up. They obviously won't stand on both legs for very long, otherwise they would get too cold standing in the water all the time. So they will occasionally alternate which leg is up and which leg is down. And now for obvious reasons, they can't stand on zero legs. And I like to say that's because some, that's something that those flamingos just won't stand for. And now my friends, it looks like coming here I found a crash. That is a crash of southern white rhinos. Now the white rhino does weigh up to 5,000 pounds and it has a charging speed of up to 35 miles per hour. So a crash is right. 
They do get their name not from their skin color though, but from their wide jaw, which is useful for eating the grass and other foliage that grows on the ground. Here on the right, you'll see the water buck, my friends. It's got long fur that secretes an oily substance, and that oily substance makes their fur water resilient. Not a white rhino, it was actually named by Dutch settlers. They named them initially the Vide Rhino, which is their word for wide. That word Vide was then translated into the Afrikaans language as the word Vite, which was then mistranslated into English as the word white. So that is how they became known as the white rhino. I do still sometimes like to call them the Vide Rhino just because it is a little more accurate. Oh, my friends, it looks like we're about ready to enter the throne room of the jungle. This is Kopi Rock. Now, Kopi Rock is modeled after Pride Rock from The Lion King. So perhaps, now that we're in the throne room, we may get to see the king of the jungle. Now, lions do sleep a lot. In fact, they sleep somewhere between 16 and 20 hours a day. I like to say that they sleep for a lion's share of the day. Although they don't sleep so much because they're lazy. They do that to conserve their energy for when they need to hunt. Although it is the lioness that does most of the hunting. As the male lion, he mainly stays back and protects the pride. Looks like the lions might be sleeping, my friends. Of course, my friends, you know that there is a rather famous lion from the Lion King called Simba. Now, did you know that Simba is actually a Swahili word? It means lion. So he is actually named after the animal uh, that he is. Now, I actually did name my truck after that famous lion. I call this truck the Simba one. Which, if I do happen to have any wilderness explorers, you'll be very interested to remember the name of this truck as it will help you earn your safari badge. You have here on the right, my friends, the largest flightless bird in the world, the ostrich. Now, it might be flightless, but it still has wings, which are useful for changing direction during a run. They can actually run at a top speed of about 45 miles an hour. Mom, why oh, and they're also one of the li the closest living relatives of uh, the dinosaur. It's all birds, really. Now, my friends, we're going to be coming into the Magadi Glen, which is where we have a ranger outpost. I did hear on the radio that it sounded like we got some new rangers. Now I think that these new rangers are going to be rather good though, because they're not human. They're an animal species that are rather adorable. So my friends, give help me welcome our newest rangers, the Nigerian dwarf goats. Now if you look at, if you were to look these goats in the eye, you'd notice that they have rectangular pupils. And that rectangular pupil does give them a much wider peripheral vision than our own. That's why I think that they'll be very good rangers. Now, of course, if you do want to pet a Nigerian dwarf goat, you can actually do that while at the Animal Kingdom. All you have to do is head on in to Harambe, and the Harambe village that is, and look for Rafiki's Planet Watch. There you'll board the Wildlife Express, a short five minute train ride to the conservation station. Once at the conservation station, you'll be looking for the affection section, which is an affectionately named petting zoo. Yeah, 
And now, my friends, we have seen a lot of very cool animals here on the savannah, and sadly, a number of those animals are suffering from habitat loss due to our modern society. We here at Disney are working very hard to preserve and protect all animals for future generations, and we do that with programs like the Disney Conservation Fund. Although we do need as much help as we can get, my friends. It is my hope that seeing the animals on your Earth safari inspires you to get involved in any way that you can, my friends. Because if you don't, who will? If you decide to help out while at the Animal Kingdom, Disney makes it rather easy to do so. Simply approach any merchandise location in the Harambe Village and Disney will match any donation given dollar for dollar, which I think is very, very cool. Although, my friends, it does look like I wound up getting just a little bit lost, and our two weeks so far is going to come to just a little bit of an end, or rather short, sadly. As I do recognize the edge of Harambe with the her music from the Harambe Village. I can still hear people's But I don't like to say goodbye. I much rather prefer a Swahili word of Kwaharini. That word does translate to the for English phrase of go well. So my friends, may you go well, go wild, and of course, go make a difference out there in the world around you. And then as always, go see as many animals as you possibly can here today, my friends. Now, my friends on the right, please watch those hands, arms, feet, and legs. Doors are opening. Watch your head and step as you disembark, and have a wild rest of your day. Daddy! Daddy, there's a roller coaster out here. All right. Yes. Christian, that is a very kind way to say, get out. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's try to get past the... Oh, we'll wait for the school group here. The phone is not going to make it too much longer. We're at 22 percent. You want to head back towards the uh, Tree of Life and see some of the uh, animals over there by the tree? Yeah, I think we could. Um, a good way to wrap it up would be the uh, the garden over there by the Tree of Life. Sounds good to me. All right, just gotta. Huh? I'm just trying not to intervene on the. Oh group. yeah, gotcha. So we hope you guys enjoyed the safari. Yeah. It was a little bit of a bumpy one, but I guess it always is. That's fair. Triple E, Eric's exciting excursions. Good to see you. Sounds good, Jocelyn. Thank you so much. Well, the thriller says, I always go on this twice a day. That's awesome. Yeah, we love the safari. It's always a different experience. The animals you see are always different. We saw two groupings of the white rhino, which was quite something. That's not a typical experience there. Is this the, uh... We'll go see what this is. Yeah. I'm sure you see some sort of animal. I'm not sure who. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Really cute. Oh, this is a peak into Gorilla Falls. Yep. Okay. Oh, we gotcha. Oh, wow. We've never seen, we've always gone through the track, but we've never, didn't realize that there was a backside. Yep. <laughs> That's very cool. The ninth wonder of the world. The ninth one, exactly, exactly. The backside of Gorilla Falls. The backside <laughs> of Gorilla Falls. Oh, you see him over there? Yeah. That's amazing. He's just chilling, eating, having a good time. Have a good one, Sean. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Sean. Oh, thank you so much, Kate. All right, guys. That's awesome.
That's so cool. Oh, it's real hot here today, Thomas. It's currently... It feels like 200 degrees. <laughs> it says it's 96 degrees right now. Oh my goodness, 96? I wonder so, what the real feel is. Yeah. It's, it's really, really hot. That KJ, he is the alpha of this group. Oh, okay. So this is the it's family group? Uh, this is the bachelor side. This is the bachelor oh, side. The okay. Bachelor side. And yes, they are silverback, but technically silverback just means that he's an older male. Hmm. He, their subspecies is Western Lowland gorillas. Gotcha. So all four of the gorilla subspecies can be silverbacks. And are there still three of the uh, the bachelor group? Or Actually, is it we four? just moved our two teenage boys mm -hmm. to the bachelor side. Okay. So now there's five over here. Yep. Nice. Wow. How's that going? Very slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> uh, they're still getting used to the group dynamic. I will say KJ has taken quite a liking to them. Well, good. But they're still very skittish of Gus and Zawadi, so. Hmm. And our, um, on our family side, it's just the dad and all of his girls. Okay, that's awesome. Well, do you want to do the gorilla trek to, uh, finish, to round up the yeah. string today? Yeah, go through Gorilla Falls. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. Thank you so much, Thank sir. you, have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much, Cole. All right. Well, we saw the back side, might as well see the front side of the Gorilla Falls. Yeah, I was like, I, I, I love Gorilla Falls. It's really a neat one. All right. Wow, the Wilderness Explorer thing is huge. Like, it's very popular in all the Wilderness Explorer clubs. It's so many people. That is true. I'm glad that it's popular because I, I don't want it to go away, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's a great experience to learn a lot of things, especially for younger people or uh, for those who just want to take part in such a thing. And the uh, any any free experience like that in Disney is rare to begin with. So <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, let's go through Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. And they close at six thirty today. Right. Oh, there is. <laughs> Lost. Mm, yeah, but you need to move. <laughs> okay. All right. He uh, surprised me by landing on my hand. Oh no, he was saying hello yeah. in a very scary way. <laughs> oh. There they are. They're <laughs> hiding inside because it's hot. This is the Endangered Animal Rehabilitation Center, guys. Administered by Harambe Wildlife Preserve. So these are the Angolan colobus monkeys, and they are smarter than us because there's an air-conditioned room that they can go in, and they take full advantage. <laughs> Here they are. So they're up in there. You can kind of see one. Right here. A little bit. But it's rather difficult. I don't think they're coming up. No, it's way too hot. It's very, very hot. They were buffalo. We're gonna go get a better look at your copy. Oh, this is the mama and baby will copy. Come on, the next one. So normally a copy are, are typically solitary, so this has got to be the mama and baby. Yeah, I've always, I've always seen them solitary.
Enjoy your nap, Patchy and GT. <coughs> All right. So yeah, they're eating on the other side of the tree there. Oh, I was gonna say, so they're not gonna be moving anytime soon, but. Cherry G says, Monica with the heel toe speed. <laughs> Hey, Jeremy Heath. Yes, they were in the air conditioning. So is this mother and son or mother and daughter? Just two buds. Just two buds. Yeah, right. two gals that, uh, so two female uh, copy guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if you're looking for the mother and son, they're over at the lodge. They're at the lodge. Gotcha. Thank you. So the mother and baby are over at the lodge. That's a that's the mom and son. At the Animal Kingdom lunch? Mm -hmm. Those are two female that are just oh, friends. Oh, okay. Phone's down to 17%, which means since starting the Gorilla Falls, we've gone down about 3%. The heat's intense, guys. It is intense. Yeah, we'll, we'll wrap up the stream as soon as we get out of Gorilla Falls. Just hopefully we make it <laughs> <laughs> with the battery life. Yeah, we're just going to have to move reasonably briskly. Yeah. Okay, hey, what's next? The, uh, the research aviary. center. Oh, it swings both ways. Oh, okay. Good. Welcome to the aviary, guys. Hey Tyler Silva, good to see you. Hey Tyler. Hey, do you know? Whoa, look at that. I don't I know it's not a duck, but it's like brown and the bill is like crazy like dinosaur esque. Right? It's beautiful. Oh. Hey Hannah Anderson. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. We got a couple of swim bills up here. Oh, there's another one as well. 
Gross. That one's a lot uh, larger. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Become something that's kind of a big deal. Still coming this way? I don't know which way he's going. Oh, there he is. So cool. I love when they walk past so closely. Okay. So this is like what the uh, safari driver was talking about, how they more walk in the water than they do swim. Yeah. See the hippo, Jay? So cool. Okay, what's next? So they're ever running at you? What is that? Alrighty. That hippo is beautiful. We saw it pass by really close twice. That was so cool. That was really cool. All right, over here we normally see meerkats and zebras. Well, I see a zebra straight ahead. Oh yeah. <laughs> Up there they are. Timon is doing his best to blend in, Mariam. The world may never know. I love when they stand up, they're so cute. <laughs> So it's just too hot for them right now, huh? Yeah, that's what the, um, the cast member was saying. It's very hot for them. Yeah. 
Yeah, there are. Right. I'm your cat, Spicy Bros. You're beautiful. <laughs> Alright guys. The gorillas now guys. Looks Are like they looks like they're all on the other side of the hill. Yeah, it looks like they'd be on the other side of the hill. We are still live, Zori, absolutely. Let's check your live indicator, make sure it is red and you'll, you'll be live with us, so. All right, we're heading to the last part of the Gorilla Falls Adventure Trail. In this last section, we'll be able to see uh, the gorillas, really. The two halves of the uh, gorilla enclosure, which are the bachelor side with the five male gorillas, and the family side, which will be on the right, which is gonna be one male and the rest female. Jenna Jade, there are not gators. Uh, there are, however, uh, there are Nile crocodiles. Nile uh, crocodile. Yeah, on the safari, we saw some right mm -hmm. here. And I seem to recall that there's American crocodile also somewhere here in Animal Kingdom, but I could be wrong with that. Alright, so on the left is the bachelor gorillas, and then on the right is the family. Oh, I see one on the left right there. There's one of the teens that was just moved to the uh, bachelor exhibit here. You see him under the rock? Mm. Oh, under the rock? Like, yeah, oh, up here. Yeah. He's uh, a little uncertain of himself back there. Either that or he's just enjoying the shade because it's very hot. getting fried. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so they're seeing a lot of stuff over there maybe. Yeah, you want to go check out the bachelor we'll group more? let check out here first. Nobody's over here. <laughs> Which probably means there's not any action of spotting any gorillas, but I thought it was worth a shot. Yeah, this is the family side. I just thought they might be uh, under like the small trees or something. Gotcha. I don't see them though. Not here at anyways. Nope. Let's go to the bathroom. Okay. Mm-hmm. I get to see him all the time. Push me out of the way. <laughs> What are the uh, age ranges of the bachelor group? Absolutely fantastic question. Um, we have, sorry, do you want me to catch this one? Because I know. Yeah, you. yeah. Okay. The oldest on this side is 41. Gotcha. Uh, then we have two in their 30s and uh, two that are uh, almost nine years old. Wow. So, yeah. Um, but the two that are nine years old, they were, reach they were with the family group recently, just a few months ago. Um, but they were reaching that age where in the wild, dad would have naturally been encouraging them to leave the family group so obviously you know they can't do that here so we kind of have to do that process for them so we uh, move them over to this bachelor group and they're still a little skittish around the around the older guys but they're uh, they're starting to get used to it and they're uh, becoming more comfortable with the new surroundings so. gotcha so these two here are uh, a couple of the 30 year olds i take it and then yeah, the uh, so, um, 
right here we have, I believe this is Z right here, which is uh, short for Zelotti. And uh, I, it's either Gus or KJ out there. I, I can't tell because of the, what, the angle he's sitting at. Gotcha. But um, that's either our 41-year-old or one of our other 30-year-olds. Or, you know, 30-something-year-olds. <laughs> So the age isn't that different. Uh, is the 41-year-old still the kind of the dominant uh, leader? Or? I believe he is going to be more of the dominant leader within our bachelor group, yes. Um, and it's, but it's not going to be necessarily a family troop or like the big kahuna. I mean, he's still the big kahuna, but um, it's a little bit like not as prominent. Right. But yeah, he will still be the dominant. Gotcha. So, yeah, so that one up by the bamboo is Gus. That's our oldest one. Okay, so that's that's Gus right up here. Yes. Very cool. Uh, not to us, no, uh, because uh, we are uh, the educators, but the keepers actually have certain um, sounds that they'll play if they want the gorillas to go in. So they will have respond to certain. Have you guys seen the family? Take the family out or? I saw them a little bit over um, the tracking by that, that glass area. I did see a couple of them, not right up against the glass, but kind of on the walls. Um, otherwise, this whole area is their habitat as well, so you could definitely look, but I would check over there as well. Yeah, I just haven't spotted them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know it kind of depends. I mean, they they might be hanging out more there now. They might be hanging out in some shady spots. Shady spots make sense, you know? Yeah, yeah, hot day, they really need a little bit of cooling. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I know I did see so you one of the they kind of tend to give each other. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Um, but, uh, Hi, I mean, so, while, so like, the oldest one is Gus, right? Forty-one years old. Yeah. That's crazy. So cool. And the two That's younger the family. Mm -hmm. The two younger uh, bachelors are in their thirties. One's thirty-seven. And then the two youngest nine. are nine, yeah. yeah. I'm not seeing the family today. No, they're just enjoying shade somewhere. Because, okay. <laughs> like, it is a squidgy. Uh What barrier is there? So with any of the habitats in Animal Kingdom, there's usually a moat involved. Uh, so there's a moat and a large cliffside here as the barriers for... Uh, Animal Kingdom, and they do a great job of ju just disguising that into the environment to make it feel like there really is no barrier between you and the animals. That's true. Hey Jeremy, hey Jetta. Especially well with primates, because most primates are actually fairly hydrophobic. Really? Mm -hmm. Especially especially apes. Uh, some monkeys are a little more comfortable with it, but so like our gorilla habitats, uh, our given habitat, uh, folks surrounded by water, and that's really all you need to keep them. Uh, just north of here, there's a, a national forest, and uh, there used to be a, uh, a well, there still is a spring there where they filmed uh, Tarzan, like way back in the, the teens, 19 teens, 1920s, like I don't, I don't, a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they tried to put the monkeys that they had for that movie on an island there. Uh, I think they were rhesus monkeys, and they didn't realize that rhesus monkeys could swim. Oh, some can. <laughs> and now there's a whole invasive species group of rhesus monkeys in the forest up here. So. That's so funny. But it's interesting to know that gorillas are hydrophobic. Yeah, uh, I have never, never seen one put more than a toe in the water. <laughs> um, but, when it rains, they, they basically immediately want shelter. Oh, man. I mean, that makes sense too. I know the... Um, the, I'm blanking on their name now. Hey Raj. The hey Jen. That are over on MJT, the monkeys. Wow. Been over there too long, uh, lion tail macaques, that's them. They're mm -hmm. they're pretty fond of the rain. Uh, okay. So I imagine imagine the water wouldn't hold them too steadily either. Mm -hmm. But they're surrounded by netting. It's it's funny what animals would do. And it's uh, funny what some will and won't put up with like I think tigers like water. Most cats don't. Right. Yeah. Pretty neat. Our tigers both have, uh, both our tiger habitats have a big pool in them. Uh, Sony doesn't get in too often, but Conrad gets in at least once a week. <laughs> he loves swimming. Especially in this heat, right? <laughs> Did you know tigers have webbed toes? Do they? They do. Uh, it helps them, helps them swim stronger. That's really neat. 
So the uh, the family trip today, I take it they're kind of avoiding the sun as much as possible. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, all our all our black furred animals tend to become very hard to spot when it gets this hot. <laughs> Have a good day, Mary. Unfortunately, I think it's probably just going to get a little bit hotter over the next couple months too. <laughs> when we first uh, got here in the morning, the it wasn't bad. Of the year. This is the hottest oh, week of the year. Wow. Oh, we picked Animal <laughs> Kingdom for today. Oh, no. Oh, it's, been, it's been a scorcher today. It, it was, was so nice. It was much nicer in the morning. It was. But, it usually is. Yeah. Um, it's not so great, though. <laughs> so a solid 30% chance of rain all day. We're hoping it might hit us. Probably usually that comes in around like 5. Yeah. The rain is very welcome with this heat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a light rain, at least, yes. would be nice. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We hope you stay cool. Oh, thank Have you. a great day. You too. Um, one more look at the yeah, uh, girls over yeah. here in the bachelor group. Marty M says, wow, didn't know gorillas were afraid of water. Yeah, me neither. You always learn something so cool when, I don't know, Animal Kingdom, it's like, you can't come to this park and not learn something really cool about animals, you know? <laughs> the 41-year-old is now laying on his back and touching his toes. Is he? Oh my goodness. He's just chilling underneath the bamboo like, you know, it's hot, but the shade is nice. Yeah, shade is nice. I would be like right there in the water though. Like that Disney duck. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Or like underneath the waterfall would be real nice. It would feel real good. Oh, did you ever see this sign here? I didn't. The stream marks a rough boundary between the home range of a family troop of lowland gorillas and a territory used by a bachelor or all male group. Young male gorillas frequently leave the family troop when they begin the mature, to mature. Some gather into temporary groups while others wander in search of receptive females. This behavior aids genetic diversity by avoiding inbreeding within the family troop. Harambe Wildlife Reserve. So like, I mean, if you don't get good facts from speaking to the cast members, there's signs everywhere with good facts about wildlife, you know? That is true. We are at 8% battery life. Oh goodness, we gotta get out of here and say bye to everybody before our battery dies. <laughs> I just want one more look at the big guy up here. Where is he at? Uh, there he is. That's awesome. Where'd he go? He's still laying there on his back, just probably getting ready to take a nap. He's got his arm over top of his eyes. Oh, have a good night, big guy. Cool. Joey G says, I'm 49, I do the same thing, honestly. Oh, you you set out in uh, search of receptive females, Joey G? I think he meant, like, lay back and relax. Oh, yeah, no, no. Take a no. nap in the shade. That makes more sense. Yeah. Whew. I'm, like, melting. Right? Mary Carol is heading out. Thank you so much, Mary Carol. Enjoy work. Only two hours left to go. That's awesome. You got this. Hannah Anderson says Central Florida has a heat index of 107 today. Oh my gosh. I think that's what it's feeling like right now, at least. Oh, the shade feels so nice Maybe right now. Maybe we should say bye to everybody in the shade. <laughs> you want to say goodbye in the shade? I think so. There's a pretty waterfall in the background. Joey G says there was one receptive one, and I went ahead and married her. <laughs> there you go. You want to turn it around? Let's do it. All right, guys. It's been awesome. We've had a really wild time here at Animal Kingdom. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been so much fun. It has. We've done everything from exploring wildlife to drawing animation, doing the animation experience. So cool. A safari. We rode a train. It was a lot, a lot of fun today, guys. Thank yeah. you so much. We saw a lot of crazy birds. And uh, we saw Kevin, also a crazy bird. <laughs> We sort of got in line for Moana, then realized it was going to be a long wait, so uh, yeah. yeah. But that way, now you guys know where to find Moana. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, we've had a lot of fun, guys. If you're new here, we're the Park Hoppers from Monica and Eric. We go live to the parks all the time now, guys. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We'd love to be able to, be able to bring you guys along with us again in the future. We're steadily approaching 5,000 subscribers. Once we do, we're going to be doing a four-park challenge. In the meantime, on June 24th at 9 a.m., that's a Saturday morning, we're going to be doing the Mountain Challenge, Park Hopper Edition, where we're going to be doing Seven Doors Mine Train, uh, Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, 
and Expedition Everest. We're going to park up over here to the Animal Kingdom for Expedition Everest. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. We hope that you'll be there with us. And with all that being said, uh, also, if you haven't already, please hit that like button, guys. It really does help us out. And if you haven't, uh, hit the like button on the Mountain Challenge video as well. That would be awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Really appreciate that. We do. Um, special shout out and thank you, as always, to our awesome, awesome moderators who we cannot do this without. Thank you to everybody in chat. Thank you to all Ninja Watchers. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for the Venmos. Thank you for the PayPals. Thank you for being a Patreon member, a YouTube channel subscriber. Like, we appreciate all of the support, everybody. And Grasshopper, thank you for the uh, super cut earlier as well. Thank you, Grasshopper. All right, yeah. guys. So with all that being said, everyone, thank you so much for spending the day with us here at Animal Kingdom. It's 2.40 p.m. We've been live for, oh wow, we've been live since 9 a.m. or so. So uh, we're going to be heading out uh, before the phone completely dies so that we can uh, find our way out of Animal Kingdom. Get some water on the way out. Hydrate. Yeah. It's hot. It is. Thank you guys so much. We hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. We'll be back live either tomorrow or Friday. Uh, we'll figure it out yeah. and we'll post it on uh, YouTube for as sure. As soon as possible. Thank yeah. you so much, everybody. Thank you, everybody. We're also working on a vlog, so keep an eye out for that as well. Uh, and we'll see you guys soon. Thank you and be safe, everybody. Oh, yeah.